not expire. Uh, I mean, it, they do not expire. No joke. That's MTN. We day for you. And while you dance, while you party, while you jam to all the great tunes we play right here on Joy, please remember to wash your hands frequently and carefully with soap and water. You wash your hands several times during the day, especially after touching anything, including your phone and even your laptop. Use hand sanitizers when you cannot wash your hands properly or even when you do wash them properly with soap and running water. Wash fresh groceries. Clean and disinfect surfaces such as countertops, door handles, furniture, toys, laptops and mobile phones with alcohol-based disinfectants. This LPMA, it's not region friendly. Because if you take it to a certain region, wash fresh groceries could be a problem. Fresh groceries. No, let's say fresh groceries. Fresh groceries. No, why are you saying it so slowly? Fresh groceries. Yeah, again. Fresh uh-huh. groceries. Keep going. Fresh groceries. Mm-hmm. Fresh groceries. Don't break. Don't break. Fine, fresh fine. groceries. It's fresh. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and those are COVID nineteen tidbits. Just ensure you stay safe. COVID nineteen is real. Just September, my dear, the whole family go enjoy plenty entertainment. Sound go TV. Keep the kids entertained with great channels like Da Vinci Kids, PBS Kids, Nickelodeon, Disney Junior, Discover Family, and the Ghana Learning Channel for all ages. Don't miss out on the Big Brother Niger drama as the plot thickens. Also relax with compelling series on Starlight, The Star Life, Z World, Telemundo, CBS Reality, BT, and a lot more. Then from the uh, 12th of September, watch better football leagues like La Liga, Serie A, Premier League, Dutch. The Dutch leagues, the MLS, the EFL, the Scottish Premiership, all on GoTV. GoTV, yeah, it's all about great family entertainment. Get your GoTV decoder, Go Tanner with one month plus subscription at 109 CDs and stay connected using my GoTV app from as low as 20 Ghana CDs per month. Terms and conditions do apply. GoTV, live it, love it. You do know what happens on Sundays, don't you? The footballers meet at the park, or two guys at their joints. Church folks share the grace and family and friends come over to visit. But now with MTN Sunday special, ha, your Sundays just got more special. <laughs> For all the 54 passwords, you can text and talk ah, all day, every Sunday. And guess what? With one CD9 passwords, you can talk the whole day and get a cool 20 megabytes of data. Now, this is where it gets even more exciting. For only two CDs and 17 passwords, you can call all other network all day, plus a free 50 megabytes of data so who is it you love talking to is it mom dad says bro or that special somebody <laughs> yeah just keep talking all day every sunday with mtn sunday special send yes to mtn short code 5050 to sign up on mtn and that's why we're good together good day for you everywhere you go good afternoon to you eugenia of mtn Hello, Josephine MTN. How are you doing? No, good afternoon, boss. Chris, Jermaine, the entire team. How are you all doing? It has come to the attention of the Energy Commission that some unscrupulous persons are collecting monies in the name of the Commission, purportedly for the processing of applications for and renewal of electrical wiring certificates to various categories of qualified electrical wiring professionals. Now, the Energy Commission wishes to state categorically that it does not own nor operate any mobile money account. The Energy Commission wishes to warn the public to be wary of any person or groups of persons parading as representatives of the Commission and demanding any amount via mobile money or any other means for any purpose whatsoever. For further information or clarification, the Commission may be contacted via 0302 813 or 0302-813-757 or 0302-813-759. Email info at energy.com.gov.gh. Or you can write and post via PMB Ministries Post Office Accra. Zero three 
0244340437. If anybody is celebrating his or her birthday, you can just share it with us right here on Joy 99.7 FM. Show is just about to start. Yes, we're going to take one more R2B track and then Noella Carignale is going to bring us Showbiz this week right here on Showbiz A to Z. It is Showbiz. Noella Carniale is here. We're just about to get into showbiz this week. Do also interact with us via Twitter at showbiz A to Z. Tweet at Joy 99.7 FM. Hashtag showbiz A to Z. That's our hashtag. Hashtag showbiz A to Z. And we're here. Noella Carniale, good afternoon. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bo. Good afternoon. Hey, what, what did you call me? I called you boo. Say it again. Boo. Uh, uh, again, boo, again. Boo. No, you gotta say it with like you're closing your eyes. You yeah, you've had Uncle Boo's new drama. Is that when you're calling Jolie? <laughs> you close your eyes more. But I have shades on. Hey, hey wow. still, I can see through. Okay. Yeah. Boo. You don't know the things we see through. Ask <laughs> Uncle Ken. <laughs> <laughs> What's in showbiz this week? All right, guys. This is showbiz this week on Showbiz A to Z. I'm Noella Karen Yali, and oh, it's about to get crazy. And yes, we begin with the Le- ambassador mm-hmm. for Willie Sebe. Good to meet you. Mommy Eugene, who over the weekend uh, won the Artist of the Year Award at the 21st edition of Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. So there's more to the story, George, but before we get into it, let me brief our listeners uh, with a list of li- winners uh, this year. So, most popular song of the year went to Things, uh, Kofi Kinasa for his song Things Fall Apart. Album of the year went to Kitty for his Sugar album. New Artist of the Year is Famille. Best collaboration of the year went to Sarkodie and Bright of Book Back Fame for All Feature. Now, best rap of the year, and hmm, <laughs> it's a very controversial <laughs> mm. award category, mm. but it went to um, Chrissy Arthur, and I'll be telling you in a few minutes why uh, it has that controversial tag. But Reggae Dancehall Artist of the Year went to the Poom President, Ras Kuku. High Life Hip Hop Artist of the Year. Went to Medical, High Life uh, Artist of the Year. Went to Kwame Eugene, Dinah Hamilton won the Gospel Artist of the Year. 
uh, Dope Nation won Afrobeat Song of the Year with your Zanku song. Hip Life Song of the Year went to Medical for Omwada. Uh, Hip Hop Song of the Year went to Don't Be Late, Kofi Moli. And uh, Reggae Dancehall Song of the Year went to the new kin, uh, or kid, I should say, kid on the block, uh, Poverty, J. Derby. High Life Song of the Year went to Things Fall Apart. Uh, that's Kofi Kenata. Mm-hmm. Gospel Song of the Year, Celestine won that with her Agbit Bolo song. Um, Traditional Artist of the Year went to the Tessa Cultural Group. Instrumentalist of the Year went to Emmanuel Bludu. Uh, Sound Engineer of the Year went to Dan Growl. Male Vocalist of the Year went to Gospel Musician MOG Music. Female Vocalist of the Year also went to another Gospel uh, Musician, Celestine Donko. Songwriter of the Year went to Kofi Kenata. Record of the year went to Ochame Kwame for his Bolikatanga Girl. Beautiful song. Song. Beautiful. Uh, song. Best video of the year went to Sinner Soul for his kill it, for her Killing Me song, and uh, Group of the Year went to Dub Nation. Producer of the Year Emoji Beats. Best international collaboration of the year went to Sarkadia featuring Root Boy of uh, formerly. Square yeah, 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 yeah. Now, African Artist of the Year went to Burner Boy, and yeah. of course, Lifetime Achievement Award went to George Dacom. Quite surprisingly, the biggest award of the night, which is the Artist of the Year Award, went to Kwame Eugene. Now, he won it over the likes of Sarkadie, Kofi Kinata, Dinah Hamilton, and Medical. Now, his win came as a surprise to many music lovers and industry critics, especially because they tipped Sarkadie. And uh, Kofi Kenata to win that award based on your works in the year. Some actually also you. tipped um, Diana Hamilton. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And even medical. Yeah. Everybody had somebody yeah. tipping him off. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the conspiracy theories here, George, plenty. Mm. I'm sure you've, you've, you've heard some already. Actually, yeah. I haven't. You haven't? No, not at all. <laughs> so, some said his win proved that the board had, I mean, the board and the organizers of the VGMA have taken up an agenda to sort of push out the old musicians. And embrace the new school. Who, who, who are those old musicians? As in the Sarkodier. They, they're calling Sarkodier an old boy. musician? That's what I saw on social wow. media. And also, others also tagged his win as a consolation award simply because they believe that last year when, you know, Stone Boy and Shatawali were banned out of the scheme, it was only right for them to award him. Uh, him. Mm. And they didn't. So this year they decided to console him mm. with that award. But guess what? Kwame is simply unperturbed by these talks and he spoke to Andy Dusty on Daybreak Hits. I'm, I was being hopeful for it. I'm wishing myself as any any normal human being would do. And I keep saying so far as we are all in that category yet, everybody is a winner. And everybody can be a winner. So if I'm being called out as a winner, I have to accept it in good faith. And so me, I was just being hopeful. Guru tweeted that you didn't deserve it. Uh, I don't know if you've heard some of the critics. This is Ghana, of course, you, you hear critics. And the, and the thing is, if Sarkozy had won, people would come and say he didn't deserve it. It's normal. I mean, Kofi Kenata fans can come say, no, 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 this year was for Kofi Kenata. And if Kofi Kenata had won it, people from Sark Nation will come and say that, oh, Kofi Kenata didn't deserve it. Sarkozy whipped. And the same way you're saying, there are the numbers of people out there saying, no, 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 finally, this boy got what he deserves, man. Because more the attitude not yet. And yeah, so like I'm saying, it's both ways. No matter what, this is Ghana. We opinionated. People like to express themselves. So I understand where Guru is coming from. He has every right to express his opinion. So yeah, Kwame says opinions are like noses. Everyone's entitled to one. So he's simply unperturbed. Uh, so yeah, that was his reaction on Daybreak Hits there. Now wait for me. Let's talk about Rapa Inu. Uh, first of all, I must commend her for the stellar performance uh, mm-hmm. she put up on Friday. I mean, I was in the, in the auditorium myself. I totally, totally loved it. And throughout her performance, I also saw, you know, uh, the audience, some of the audience give her, you know, stand innovation. So, yeah, big, big ups to her. But the news here is that she was nominated in the Best Rapper of the Year category. But unfortunately, she lost out to her colleague rapper, Chrissy. Arthur, and just when we thought she was going to allow sleeping dogs lie, she dropped Game of Thrones, a song most music fanatics have tagged a diss track at Chatterhouse. And here's why. Yeah. 
That was Game of Thrones, uh, a song, like I said uh, mm. earlier, music fanatics, some music fanatics have tagged a diss track at Chatterhouse. But in an interview with Andy Dossi and Daybreak Hits, Eno did not only debunk claims that the song is a diss track, but also congratulated uh, uh, Chris Yaffa. I think some people don't actually listen to details and they just name anything anyhow they want to name it. But, I mean, if you listen to the song, I think there's nobody like... It's not a diss track, you know. So I don't know why some people were given some meanings and some topics and some titles to it. But meaning that can be, I mean, you can't change the minds of some people. So in that category, yeah. Chrissy Arthur won. Yeah. Do you think he deserved it? Um, congratulations to him. Uh, the, king of, the king of rap in Ghana now is a female, though. Oh, so you know the award. It's it's a system, you understand. He was nominated. He won. He has the award in his heart. There's nothing I'll say that will make him say he's bringing the award to me. So congratulations to him. But the king of rock in Ghana now is a female. That's all I'll say. So yeah, congratulations to Chrissy Arthur. But the king of Ghana's rap culture right now is who? George Quay. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> So yeah, that was Edno there speaking to Andy Dossi and Daybreak Kids. But still on VGMA related stories, George. Uh, you remember? Well, I'm not too sure if you will. But months ago, mm. uh, at the nominees announcement, yeah. I remember I had a conversation with the uh, episode. Yeah. And in that conversation, he opined that the exclusion of Shutter and Stone Boy is more or less like a blessing in disguise. Basically, what he meant was that, you know, it would give the opportunity it would give others like himself the opportunity mm. to know what it feels like to win a VGMA award mm. in their category so yeah uh, but that statement obviously didn't go down well with a lot of people he mm. received a lot of backlash for that uh, and plus per their reaction talking about Stone Boy and Shutter it clearly showed that they weren't you know pleased about his reaction so when I caught up with him at the Grand Arena I sought to ask him or find out from him, from him if perhaps he regrets his statement and uh, listen. No, what would I regret? I won't. If it, had been, it hadn't been that, I don't think this question would even be asked. And uh, in, in, you know what I said? People took it out of like context. In the sense that all I was saying is now there's a space for other artists to also be heard and seen. I didn't even mention only myself. I mentioned the likes of Jay Derby and then the rest of the artists. You get what I mean? So... It's all right. If, if people had misconceptions about what I said, I beg you. But I still stand by what I'm saying. You know, because no disrespect to our late ex-president. Because he died, that is why Mahama became president. And that's a blessing in disguise to my... Whether, whether, whether we like it or not. You get what I mean? So some of these things, it's not because I hate them or not. No, they are my brothers. We are family. But people should understand that somebody needs to go for the next person to be recognized. You get what I mean? Simply put, Mokwaya, ni Mokwaba. That, that is all. <laughs> so yeah, that was episode there. But I also caught up with um, Kelvin Boy and asked him to explain his sudden somewhat 
closeness with uh, Samini amidst his beef with Stone Boy. For those of you who do not know the backstory, mm. uh, for some weeks now we've witnessed, you know, some social media war, you know, back and forth going on between Stone Boy and Samini. We can't, or I can't pinpoint, I mean, the exact thing that sparked, you know, this whole back and forth. Uh, but in the midst of that, I've also noticed how Samini has also become a bit close with Kelvin Boy. And, I mean, we all know the history be- between these two. So I asked him whether their relationship uh, is a gang up against his former boss. And uh, this was what he had to say. But was that a bad thing? If it was a bad thing, then you would think that it's a gang up. Um, if you people um, receive negativity so well, then we also find a way all the time to get your mind how positive it is or how negative it is doesn't matter to get your mind is because you always go for the why don't you say oh the, the song is nice Kevin Boy is the singer but you go for the ne- ne- the negative side then we know pastor say you will go for the negative side so we doing it so who are you talking to here yeah, the media everyone, or the people the media everyone mm-hmm. everyone bloggers everyone so basically you other bloggers posting it mm-hmm. I've done songs with the other I, I mean you know, even some of my own songs, some of them don't post it or whatever. But when it's negative, so sometimes you say the positive, you need to be negative, you know, whatever is it, it, there. It is showbiz A to Z. All right, so basically what he was trying to say is he's learned how to capitalize on negative news, uh, you know, to his advantage. So, yeah, that was Kelvin Boyd there. Now, on to the next story, you know, George, this mm-hmm. one will excite. You. Mm. Will it now? Let's it go. Will. Let's go get it then, <laughs> shall we? Rise up, rise up, mother Africa. And So, George, the story here is simple. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dr. Yuen. Yeah. Shout to Sarkadier. Yeah. D Black. Yeah. Our very own DJ Black. The legendary. Evans Mensa. <laughs> Nathaniel Atto. And Nathaniel Atto. Legend. No long talk. Yeah, yeah, If yeah. you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but just in case you love the song that was just played, kindly enter His Excellency Dr. Kwame Fodjuo. UN Diplomat releases hit track on behalf of United Nations and governments mm-hmm. on YouTube mm-hmm. and come back and thank you later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some international stories now. <laughs> All right. Let's go. played a Ghanaian song to talk about international stories, but well, we global now. <laughs> so the song you heard is a remix version of Kitty's Say Cheese song, executively produced by American singer, songwriter, record producer, and multi-instrumentalist 
Teddy Riley. Riley. So yeah, if you felt the depth, the kick, the bass, the introduction of some, you know, back in vocals in the song, just know it's the Teddy Touch. What's even more exciting is that Kitty has made it to the Billboard Top Trailer Global Chart with the song George and it debuted at number yeah. 15. I yeah. don't know yeah. where it is now, but as yeah. at, as at the time I checked, yeah. it was at 15. So yeah, congratulations to Kitty Beautiful. and Teddy as well. And on to some sad story. One of the last times Chadwick Bosman and Michael B. Jordan spoke, Chadwick said they were forever linked, and that's according to a. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Now, Jordan, who starred alongside Bossman in Black Panther, penned a touching tribute to the late actor who died last Friday after being diagnosed with colon cancer in 2016. So I'm going to read. I have the, the tribute here. It's quite lengthy, but I'll try my best to you know read through it quickly as I can. So he says, I've been trying to find the words, but nothing comes close to how I feel. I've been reflecting on every moment, every conversation, every laugh, every disagreement, every hug, everything. I wish we had more time. One of the last times we spoke, you said we were forever linked. And now the truth of that means more to me than ever. Since nearly the beginning of my career, starting with All My Children, that's a movie, when I was 16 years old, you paved the way for me. You showed me how to be better on our purpose and create legacy. And whether you've known it or not, I've been watching, learning, and constantly motivated by your greatness. I wish we had more time. Everything you've given to the world, the legends and heroes, and you've shown us we are, will live on forever. But the thing that hurts me the most is that I know, I now understand how much of a legend and hero you are. Through it all, you never lost sight of what you loved most. You cared about your family, your friends, your craft, your spirit. You cared about the kids, the community, our culture, and humanity. You cared about me. You are my big brother. But I, ne- I never fully got a chance to tell you or truly give you your flowers while you were still here. I wish you had more time. I'm more aware now than ever that time is short with people we love and admire. I'm going to miss your honesty, your generosity, your sense of humor, and incredible gifts. I'm, I'll miss the gift of sharing space with you in scenes, and I'm dedicating the rest of my life to live the way you did with grace, courage, and no regrets. Is this your king? Yes, he is. Rest in power, brother. And that was Michael B. Jordan's tribute to my, uh, Chadwick Bosman. Now, before I go, let me uh, brief you with what's trending on social media. Dr. Yuan is still trending. Oh, um, he will trend for a bit. You've seen the new trend for videos that have popped yeah, up. Yeah, I've seen them. I've yeah, seen them. America is also trending. Big mm-hmm. brother Nengi is also trending. It's related to Big Big Brother Niger. Okay. Dean Black is also trending uh-huh. and Ghanaian is trending. <laughs> <laughs> Noela, thank you very much. Thank you, Thank too. you very much. And that's Noela Karen Yale with Showbiz This Week. You heard it all, all the news in a nutshell right there. Still locked on to Joy 99.7 at Showbiz A to Z. We will be right back. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies. Nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort Cran and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salary, is mundane, it's survival oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive. A growth path is clear, and you can build step by step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business. You know, say some people they shy where did they come from? Mm. So so young key, young key. I tried it, I tried it. I tried it, I tried it. Trigmatic. Look at you, the big bosses. You know they here. You know they fear, who? Hmm? 
until somebody says, I will tell your mother. That's why we say wear a mask or else. We will call your mother. Hey, why are you disgracing me? Why your mask? Wear it for her. Wear it for me everywhere you go. MTN. Visit wearitfor.me to send a message to someone. Accidents do happen. It could be a motor accident, a sudden heart attack, or even a stroke, or any other health emergency. The first steps you take are very critical. Should you be involved in or witness an accident, call 112 for the fastest ambulance response. With over 300 well-equipped ambulances all over Ghana, you are assured of the fastest response to your emergency calls. Call 112 during critical health emergencies and save your life and that of your family and loved ones. 112, help will come. 112, we are safe. Avoid prank calls as they can lead to loss of life of persons in actual need of help. Be a responsible citizen. Hey, I'm a missionary. Boy, be a missionary. Real deal, package and casa. Tall, dark, pink lips. Muscular with six pack. Handsome with designer clothes and shoes. Papa baby. Girl, he wasn't playing at all. Hey, I just that. I was eyeing him the whole time. So near me, turn up. I strategically positioned myself in front of him. <laughs> and then he opened his mouth and said hello. Oh, we're ready. And Capelli. Hey, oh, slow. Ah. Don't let it happen to you. Use the new blue close up cool breeze toothpaste. It comes with a new minty flavor for long lasting fresh bread. Stay fresh with Cool Breeze, because blue is the new cool. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Hello there, hop in. Let's go on a ride to the countryside. Prepare for smoothness through country land. Every Sunday between 10 a.m. and midday, tune in to Joy 99.7 FM for your favorite country music. Lock it in on your calendar. It's country land on Joy 99.7 FM. Simply call me Iggy. Country land. On Joy 99.7 FM. Shoprite Mall Low Low Price Bet Day is now on. And we are giving you more savings so you can fill your trolley with everything you need. All at our low, low prices. Like 1.5 liters bottle of Bella Still Water. Only one Ghana Cine. 49 pesos worth. And a 1 liter bottle of Johnny Walker Red Label Whiskey. Just 94 Ghana Cine. 99 pesos worth. Don't miss our more low, low price Bet Day. Valid till 6 September. Only at Shoprite. Lower prices you can trust all the way. Not for sale to persons under the age of 18. Teeth and teeth supply. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies, nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort Cran and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salaries, mundane, survival-oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive. A growth path is clear, and you can build step-by-step step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business. Roverman Productions presents Mr. Smooth, a radio play written by Uncle Lebo White. Monday to Friday, Mr. Hey, look, here yeah, inside this envelope is a thousand Ghana cities. Okay, can go and give it to her for me, eh? Oh, yes, eh? no problem, no problem. Good, good, good. Hey, but boss, small issue day. See, last time I go there, he said, make a tell you, see, it be the body edifice you won't see. Oh. It be, it be the money. Me too, eh? I want the body. Eh. I want the edifice. Oh. I want the Ubuntu. Ah, my wife, she keeps me under strict surveillance. Mm. Say, when you want to see Julie this evening? Hey, hey, hey. Julie, what, what do you want to see? Boom, like that. I, so, sorry to mention him. Jolie. Jolie. Close your eyes, smart, you're saying. Jolie. Patch, Mr. Smooth. Tune into the Overdrive on Joy 99.7 FM after the 8 p.m. news on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, with a full episode repeated every Sunday from 1.30 p.m. Don't miss out. Monday to Friday, from morning to Frida. 
Accidents do happen. It could be a motor accident, a sudden heart attack, or even a stroke, or any other health emergency. The first steps you take are very critical. Should you be involved in or witness an accident, call 112 for the fastest ambulance response. With over 300 well-equipped ambulances all over Ghana, you are assured of the fastest response to your emergency call. Call 112 during critical health emergencies and save your life and that of your family and loved ones. 112, help will come. 112, we are safe. Avoid prank calls as they can lead to loss of life of persons in actual need of help. Be a responsible citizen. This is the open house point. Our head, but it, I am one that it. Must make some sound in the boat. My circle, I am good at it. Good at it. Our pen and your payo. Seven jump. Me here for wood to an hour. What? Hairdresser for the shoemaker for to wear your bank. I wear one you might have put a head. I am one that I am more. This is the open house point. DJ Black, he's gonna rock you. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna open house. Open house party. This is the open house party. We got a little video on this air. We don't kill you, man. Bring it back, bring it back. We don't kill you, man. 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 We Kwame Rasta is in the house with us this afternoon. Sadiq Abdullah Abu is also here, but Sadiq will wait for us outside. Let's finish. Oh, okay. Sadiq has a seat. Oh, okay. Sadiq's spot has been taken by the camera. So our studio is not overcrowded this afternoon. We're just set. We're going to have this conversation with the Aquabwas. We'll try to read our, raise Aquabwa Senior on the phone so that we can have a conversation with father and son. I need to raise Aquabwa Senior on the phone so that we can have that conversation. Yes, Uncle Ken. I have a problem with you. Yes, you always do, sir. I have been in this studio for the past 45 minutes, and you have not made the audience out there know that I'm here. But I said you you're punctual. I, listen, yesterday, yes. I took an Uber mm-hmm. somewhere. Okay. And on my way to my destination, I had a call. So I had to pick the call from yeah. the Uber. So as soon as I started the conversation, the driver then turns around and says to me, Ah, I know that voice on radio. Uh-huh. So And he was listening to Joy. Yeah. It was Doreen's show, Cosmopolitan Cosmo. Mix. So he said, I said, yes, I am from the station you are listening to. <laughs> so he said, <laughs> he said, Hi, Uncle Ken. I said, yes. He says, oh, I'm so happy to see you. I listened to you on Rhythms A to Z and your jazz show, and then on Thursday evenings, even last night I was listening to you, and I really enjoy 
listening to you. So we had a little bit. Then he said to me, Why am I always late? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question he posed. Oh. He said, Why am I always late on a Saturday for the Rhythms A to C? And I did not say anything. Oh. I said, I just laughed it off. Because I said to myself, This is because. George Quay does this thing all the time. When I'm talking to you, you don't announce it. He does not let the listeners out there know that we are here. Uncle Ken, hold on one sec. Listeners, Uncle Ken was here at 2 p.m. In fact, while we're doing the R2B's yeah, yeah, party, you, you uh, just uh, uh, Sadiq Hood is alright. Sadiq is the one who's perpetually late. Can you imagine? Sadiq is coming. Can you imagine? And I'm not surprised. You know what the guy said? It. I just laughed. Because I said it is because George Quay does this all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I can't forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. But he still is ready to discuss something. But good afternoon to you and welcome. Rasta. Thank you. It has been a busy week for us. <laughs> no, no, no. Rasta and I, it's a different story. You know, Uncle George Dalkun has won his lifetime at, uh, 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 achievement of that. Somebody is sitting somewhere insulting me. <laughs> and this was just because the person didn't get an opportunity to wear suits, climb the state to pick their award on his behalf. That one is different. No, Rasta has done me something. No. Why are they insulting me? Oh, we'll have that conversation later, Uncle Ken. Don't worry. Let's no, get into the conversation with Akwabua. Oh, Rasta, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll really deal with it. Forgive me. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, gentlemen, let me welcome <laughs> Kwejo Akwabua Jr. <laughs> hey, sorry, this is hey, Kwejo is the senior. Yes, Kwejo is daddy. Kwabna Akwabua, Kwabna Nete Thing. Welcome. We're, we're, good. we're good. We're good. We're good. Someone said the first question I should ask you what is it with you and Sarkodie? How come it is you and Ifia? If any time South Korea is going to have a show, we are sure two artists at least would feature. Akwabua okay. and Ifia. What is the connection? Um, I think it's just the vibe, the mm. energy that we, we use when, you're, when we're working. Mm. We love melodies. You get it? Mm-hmm. So when we meet, um, it's like South Korea happens to be somebody who kind of plays the instrument. How about a do fast be on a keyboard? So oh, South Korea plays piano? Uh, yeah. The we we didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was very surprised. So I think Hono, but like, he know, but yeah. Yeah, he plays but he plays. Yeah, so I think it's uh, just the vibe. We love music to the core. So hmm. when we meet, it's just like meeting my personal person again. The difference is he raps and then I sing. And Interesting. The theater, yeah. So I think it's just a vibe, yeah. It's just a vibe. Yeah. Many know you as Akwabua, the guy with the fine voice, the ladies' man, and all okay. that, you know, and all that. But tell us about your upbringing, growing up. Uh, um, is this always what you thought you would be? <laughs> yeah, somehow, yes. Interesting. Was, yeah, because, um, you know, way back in school, where you'd write the subject, that's where... So, book and you write the subject there. Yeah. And as for Harlem, you want to write the, um, the subject very big. Big, yeah. But for me, I'd write the subject there. Like, uh, my music is my game. Mm-hmm. Very big. Boom. Very big at the top of the yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. And then down there, I'm just going to write. If it's life skills, I'll just write it small. <laughs> there. So, somewhere along the line, I knew I wanted to do this. Okay. Because uh, I remember when I was young, that by then it was called Trek. Now mm. we call it a store. Yeah. yeah. But that with the years it was Trek. Yeah. I was always with him going for the track and everything and then um I'd be playing the keyboard on the table and that was always like, Oh, come now. Uh, on, on Sabe or yeah, we'll get to a point where one day you would play. So somewhere along the line, yeah, I knew I wanted to be this who I am today. And then so what you took some music lessons or something? How did you start playing the piano and the yeah, instruments okay. that you play and all that? Yes, uh, I would say Mine was School of Hard Knocks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, way back in Kumasi. Mm. That's where everything started, at church. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you started in the church? Yeah. Interesting. CAC International. Interesting. Yeah, I started learning the keyboard there. I, I happened to join a band somewhere along the line called mm. Israelites Band. Mm-hmm. And we were like, what do you play? And I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to play the keyboard. Oh, sorry. And they were like, Ah, so what about drums and kabu? I'm a boy. I'm That thing's on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I joined the band, played with the band for a while, and then came back to um, Accra. Uh, that was when Dad came in, started giving me some books, mm-hmm. yeah, to learn. Cause Kumasi the old boy is the high life is the do fast. So yeah. But then if you have to really dig deep into music, there are some lots of things that I had to know. Yeah. And that's when Dad stepped in. 
gave me some books, gave me some music, and then was always on my case. Listen to this song, listen to that song. So it's been one after the other. Came to play for Ophelia Nyantechi, the gospel band. Mm. Yeah. For a while, yeah. Came to play for Nat Brew. Oh, you you played for Amanzaba? Yeah. Interesting. For some, for some years. Because I remember when I met you, you were like a yeah. backing vocalist. Exactly. That was, um, what, 10 years ago? 10 years ago, yeah. <laughs> you were a backing vocalist. I yeah. remember very well from Stars of the Future, yeah. you know, with Kiki Bunsen. You were in that house around exactly. Tesano. Oh, yeah, you know everything. Yeah, the blonde days. Yeah, the blonde days, exactly. The yeah, blonde days. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Gladstone, Gladstone. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gladstone. That was the Gladstone. <laughs> the Gladstone days. Gladstone, the Gladstone days. Hey, you get it. So it's been one thing after the other, and then yeah, I'm here. <coughs> How many awards have you won at the VGMs? Um, I think it's two of them, if I remember correctly. I think it was the record of the year, and then was it Melbourne or something? Did you not win songwriter at some point? Or yeah, was it a exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was for, for a song for Becca? Yeah, exactly, yeah, Darker Down. How, how, how many artists have you written songs for in Ghana? Um, Asia, Becca, ESP Kofi Sapon, Sisi Chum, Abna Sewa, now Uvila Nyante Chino, Abna Sewa, I think I've written for Sakodia's Mary album. Yeah, you go so you're a so... So countable. I cannot count the songs, but uh, I know I've written for quite a number of people, though. We're, we're going to the phone lines. We have your father on the line. <laughs> Hello, there. <laughs> Hello, there. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. I'm George Queer. We will join 99.7 FM. And you... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, just uh-huh. yeah, just so you na na I'm I could be a sword. Eh, 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 Ocha na so wan toa. Du ocha da kakre. Eh, me twa kakre bi si 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 atu ye. Eh, was come na no abin. Mm. Hey, the first time you didn't buy free school by your pa na masa, the terminal report. Hey, masa. Me hunu e ide o. Me hunu good da. Me hunu best. Excellent. Best. Excellent. Best. Hey. Dano, me taku koma me be wi. <laughs> oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. And listeners, if you just tuned in, you're enjoying 99.7 FM still. We're speaking to um, Kuju Akwabwa Senior. His son, Kwabna Akwabwa, is right here with us in the studios. And then we're just speaking, you know, a father and son collaboration, one of the most beautiful collaborations that have ever happened. That, I'm going to go to the show. Uh, uh, me personally, na one of my favorite songs. Pa, na why oh. idea set Munya remixy? Eh, kwa mna na Oh, e, kwa mna ni ba? Oh, I see. Kwa mna na di idea ni ba? Yeah, because me 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 di yun bi free you ba? Me di yun bi free you ba? Na besa ka me release no chema so me tu me bona yenye adreti chano nsanye lead ansa na me chime releasei ni ni diano enu mumbi chime ama. And you know, Ako. Oh, I'm so okay. If you know, uh, idea or buy, I'm so you say a good idea because he's my son. So, I ain't in Boom and your bonnet because my only baby, I'm no more. I am so I'm proud of my son. That obey na a year, a year, a wish, sir. Ka Unine obey musician said, Yeah, obey, and I'm not going to put a for four months because I yaw for do do and I may say, I'm more for normal compass and a lawyer. Eh, into my fault when you saw you nine shut down your mother, papa. Now, so eventually, Nancy, and your madam, I say, Bibia, Elko, come up. But now, a year, Wobuta is sweet, and so sank up as a oy musician, and an uncle in your uncle, why doctor be a nurse, and I'll cast a wabin who squeer, and a report card bar, plus, 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 and queen. Mm-hmm. Um, if I tell me, I also made you any music. It's not, I want him to be a musician. Mm. Oh, you know, you make one mummy. Interesting. Internet, you always wanted him to be a musician. Of course. Oh, that's interesting. 
na na is it is it just him ana oni ni nwa no bi na ba so ma no mo yesen ba so hodi enfanto nchen ye ka pa yo da ye nka kwa na de enta na omu ni na na opeso mu musicians ana kwa na pe oh is any a human dose mi mi human dose mi so mi na me craft oh i na me na me na me ti me craft it is what e cotton kra oh wow it is say you obey fit o you obey so yo you be musicians the aquabua will still exist the minimum sir mumre so no na na gana high life that they know ya can ganian music na no na high life and now what's the state of high life music wa gana at all saying um say a a a trend what do you say a trend yeah yeah time no na ya bo high life bet me dey make him catch here on kodan say omo omo they should come back to high life no Oh, do I move? I move body, but I move fair. I don't know how life. You ain't so I move fair. I don't know how life. Nah, you see me be the Afro what? The Afro beat. Afro beat. Kwa kwa Oh, sir, you kwa bra kwa bra kwa bra. Do you know how born? Kwa bra do you know how born? Oh, sir, there's a bit high life. No cre. What you say? There's a bit high life. So, you see, I say okay. I'm what you make I say. Um, that I have cool, Aquarano. Mm. What you say? Only the Quabana Yan can say, they tell me to take you warm stuff. No, we need your dad to hope. Oh, say, Dad, I've come my shows that we need your hope because none says I want me to say, what kind of one will read you for for us? Of course, because I can't bore her life. Say the Quabas is bore her life, yeah. Oh, because two, sir, Afro, Afro beaten, a fellow and a boy Afro beaten. No, correct. So in fella rhythm. Nigeria fella rhythm. Nigeria any of the Afro beat. They did a high life. At the same rhythm there, but it's just rhythm. No correct. So but you only make you know. If you almost try to say, oh, and I say, if I'm a show, Cassano could be baby do do. Cassano could be baby do do. I did go, I did come and a toss away and you move to do. Just <laughs> Make make and because Kabra many one hope ah oh mistake and mistake and some don't go there. That's how prepare. Yeah, I can say don't go there because the, the trend you know, if you want to play the high life, this is not the kind of high life that you want to play. Try so be this way. And you only tune this one. We monitor everywhere. You just be a monitor. Yeah, na. Every one one say one quote. You say one of the Gina. So because my dear back up ah no. So it makes sense. Mr. Pass and you move to a moment to even say, before the chair was school. And the bitch me and Kakamu, what you say? But I did go where they come. You go where and they come where? Hey, Sonia Fasia. Die, I'm going to say, Kwabna or Hainti, and Kwabna be doing Komo, but if you will say, a chair, I drink some napa, say a fair while, you better have fruit with you, die. Into your best dress, for we feed you to two ninety nine point seven joy in the tea. Why? But the answer now, because Uncle Ken, I do her, also, I'm going to say, 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 I'
Ya, ya, ajá. Ajá. I would go come and go ahead. During the week, you know, say, uh, assembly by I was a woman working about current crop of musicians, you know, I will perform me with VGM, you know. But you say, you can say, woman, you know, to answer me, Papa. Now, you say, one time, now, you say, you know, to answer me, you know, to perform. But you know, 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 a seminar and Mugusa make an army. What does it say? Oh, ma'am, opening, um, yeah, me will be moved to be. Yeah, me can say, we have singing and we have singing. A you move to me, me come to say, because when I was playing with my father's band long, now I auto tune as if for near GB do. What does it say? What you voice now, air band, I would say, yes, no, the tune. What you say? No, you know, you it must roam as a voice training moment a year. Omon tries on bay voice training. Na and son of Mako Babiana because at the end of the year, so also they are in ye. And your bad, Omon in the bar, Bontin in your bad. Then you mean me, Gandhi, in fact, I wasn't impressed. You got all kind of opening. No impression you could hope you get. I wasn't impressed about the voices. If you cried, you cried out to make you say a you cried the tree. Um, mine in the tree. Would I say, I'm mine in a day, you know, as I say. Sometimes the tune and the voice, baby, and then, um, yes, I'm sure I'm a carry. Open your bed, I was into the center of a car and on patch or more feeding and that join it. Yeah, you have a sample, you have a sample, baby, and that was, um. Could you Akwabwa? Uh Kwabna Kwa was father that we just had a conversation with. And uh, is that, that Yeah, the grandfather is Kwabna. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And um to, to, to summarize what he said and translate, basically we spoke about um um his son and he emphasized the fact that he has a lot of love for his son and he always dreamt that since he's a musician, he had always wanted Kwabna to go to be a musician as well and said that um he is multi talented and um he always gave opportunity to whichever of his kids wanted to pick whatever craft of his and he would give him or her all the support to grow up to be whatever he wanted to do. He has done some vehicular works, he's done craftsmanship, he is you name it, a lot of um, talent. And he encouraged all his kids to do whatever it is that they wanted to do. And um, he also did emphasize the fact that Uncle Ken asked him about uh, performances at the Just Ended VGM is because he had made a comment on that earlier on another platform. And he did clarify that, yes, he is very, very particular about performances and vocal delivery. And um, he said he wasn't really impressed with some of the vocal deliveries at the Just Ended VGMAs. And he had hoped the artist would work a lot better. He commended Sarkodie for the fact that he had tried to learn how to play at least one instrument, though he's a rapper, and he does use that instrument, you know, which is the keyboard. He tries to play a few keys here and there to perfect his own singing. And, um, you know, generally, he would wish would revert to our traditional hard life because, um, as far as he is concerned, the entire concept of Afrobeat is something that um, Nigeria's fella used to play. So um, if we would, you know, embrace our authentic traditional high life, it would help grow our music better. So in a nutshell, that was the conversation we had with um, the senior man. Is that? Oh yes, yeah. He also gives a lot of shout to Dada Afko. He said there are a lot of uh, musicians that he 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 believes hold the future of our high life music, you know, uh, in their hands, if I should put it that way. And Dada Afko is one of them. His own son, who's right here with us, is also another. So he has keen eyes on these talent, and he keeps watching his son everywhere, monitoring him. How do you feel with your dad monitoring you at at your age? How old are you? Are you still a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I'm in my middle thirties, though, and then wow. um, yeah, I think it's good for my dad to be monitoring everything that I do. Why yeah. <coughs> people don't get don't get that from their fathers? Mm-hmm. You get my point. I, I feel privileged um, on it that my dad 
I always say he's my mentor. Mm-hmm. He has this, uh, there's this big shoe that I'm still trying to fit. I, yeah. When it comes to daddy and then his scope of reasoning, like his ears, when it comes to music, his understanding is very, very in the like, very deep. Yeah. To my point. So for him to um, always be on my case and then telling me what to do, come now and say and say, and you'll be on it, and you understand. So for me, I'm, I guess I'm a happy son. I mean. I enjoy that. I have had you perform a rechitre. Yeah. A number of times on exactly, different yeah. platforms. Oh, yeah. How does it feel like performing what's arguably your dad's biggest song? It, it's a great feeling. I, I feel proud about that because Nipa saying mm-hmm. in Ghana, do they have that opportunity to even perform mm-hmm. songs? Yeah. There are lots of musicians out there, old men like old musicians out there. Mm-hmm. How many of their kids perform their songs? Their songs, yeah. And they get the kind of feeling I get when I'm performing or you see the crowd and it's so huge to the extent that when you I do perform I do love you and everything but when I, when I hit a mm-hmm. the feeling from the old like and then the young they're like ah I knew it is me I made the power yeah nothing you get it so it, it's a good feeling about you. it's a very strong feeling and I guess that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do that with my dad to um, um, remix the Arachiche and I guess what I thought about is exactly what's happening now. Mm. People are embracing it, and then it's it's really going far. And then I'm I'm, I'm happy because there are some views on YouTube that I never had when I started doing mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. You get it? It's, it's, it's been day. yeah, it's mm-hmm. been four or five days now, and the song is on number two. Mm-hmm. It's been there, and I'm like, hey, I mean, I do love you, Grammy boy, cry. Uncle Drew, <laughs> you get my point. You've spoken about I do love you. My yeah. favorite. Do you know what my favorite song from you is? No. Do you so you don't have an idea? No, oh, I you don't, don't listen to me on the late night express. Um, There's a particular song from you that almost every night I do a Ghanaian music night I play. You performed it at the VGMAs with a fear. Hold, hold me down. Me down okay. Hold <laughs> me down is my all time okay. Aqua Bua favorite. Okay, I, okay. I don't know. I can't get enough of that song. Funny enough, that's the last song I did on the album. Yeah. Yeah. And the yeah. ones that I wasted time on. <laughs> they are the oh, you didn't waste this one. I think yeah. what you mean is you spend time on. Yeah, because spend, yeah. 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 Good, that, yeah. That's the least one that I spent time on. Yeah. Track two on the album. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Ubiba. Yeah, Ubiba. Ubiba. Yeah. Nice song. For Sadika, I no, think he loves the song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of who do you think are your biggest fan base, guys or girls? <laughs> girls, obviously girls. Obviously, obviously yeah, girls. girls. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, I used to. What happened? This is a long story. I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Uh, was your heart broken? <laughs> or did you break her heart? <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it didn't. It's not. Like that. No heart no, was there, broken. No, no so you parted on a mutual. We didn't part with. Somebody married her. That's my country. I don't want to talk about it on the air. Cause <laughs> oh no no no. So, 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 so I think about it, I cry. So oh, oh okay okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I have an idea where yeah. he's going. George, yeah. That's all right. I'll, I'll leave it there. Yeah. So are you single? Yes. At the moment. Yeah, at the moment I am. I'm hoping to. Do you um, have somebody in mind? Yes, I actually I do. Actually I do. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then thank you very much. Eh? You that's that's none of your business. Me <laughs> 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 No, you're not interested. The <laughs> <laughs> Rasta is a Rasta. Yeah, yeah, Rasta is a solid Rasta. Rasta is a Rasta. Uh, so, like. we hear people like you. I mean, okay. bachelors like you. Fine, good looking, crazy talented. You have a yeah. lot of girls worrying you on yeah. a daily basis. You experience that? Yes. Uh, oh, for that, I think even Trotter Drivers experience that, that too. That's mm-hmm. one thing about life and then what we do um, you, you get some messages in your like dms from ig to twitter and everywhere what do they send you what do they ask for you know how it starts Hi, N- no i don't know how it starts oh, oh, i'm not know. a musician oh no you know <laughs> yeah, brother, you know <laughs> no i don't <laughs> know all along <laughs> <laughs> i am not a musician <laughs> <laughs> you know so the thing is yeah. <clears throat> it will start with them hi i'm a, I'm a big fan mm-hmm. blah, blah blah if you should you continue to talk to them oh thank you very much keep supporting my music blah 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 I love your song, can I have your number? Then it goes mm. to the next um, stage. Yes, but the thing is, um, and you'll be able to send a message or because of people. Some genuinely like what you're doing. Yeah. You get my point. So um, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Mm-hmm. But then when you find out that, okay, this person is looking for something that you are not willing to give, you just keep to your track and then you make sure you don't deviate. Mm-hmm. One on one bra. 
you are powered for no definitely they will say, say. Yeah. how about older women you know <laughs> older do they throw sponsorship opportunities at you and stuff like yeah, that yeah I, I i get yeah mm? <laughs> well, uh, is that what are you saying no, no, no. i guess it's george queen <laughs> 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 okay why you find the question up there Oh, Uncle, can you find a string? No problem, do do. No, that's okay. I, I, I get that too. Uncle is afraid you you land uh, somewhere. I shouldn't. <laughs> I get I get that too. But I think one of the uh, things that has all, like always helps me is the fact that um, I think about tomorrow. Mm-hmm. If I know I can't continue, I don't have to start it. Mm-hmm. Take my point. So yes, you get older women. Calling you, talking to oh me, pony on pad, I believe you, blah blah blah. Oh ma, ma chat here from ma. You mother zone, you mother zone. The whole interview and all this thing that you've done, yeah, very very certain that for the blogger community, this is what. Exactly. Not what I call. Yeah, so I just put you there. Oh ma, pa chopo ko, biya boko di. Me cry saying I'm feeling sorry, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. <laughs> you like compelled, yeah, exactly. You won't be compelled to even say like. Do you still yeah. perform in the church? Yeah, I'm the. Where do you worship? Parliament Chapel International. Uh, Parliament has a church there. Yeah, who, who you guys have Parliament. Uh, the government parliament that's physical uh, I thought parliament. it was that one. Oh, you had refer- I yeah, thought there was a church in Parliament. A person from some quarter. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yes, yes, I've heard of it. Yeah, so that that's, yeah, you're that's still in... Yeah, I've been there for close to like 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, so for him, he saw me growing up through school and everything, yeah, and that's where... And you still where, perform in the church? Yeah, sometimes we, we go out to for shows, like to co, yeah. to perform, and I'll have to drive back early Sunday morning because I have to come and play. Oh, wow. The keyboard, so, yeah. The church doesn't discriminate against... They don't see you sing worldly songs, you sing lust never, songs, song never, about never. sex and all those things? Never, never. It got to a point that I would always sing before my pastor preach. Mm. That's what I do. I sing before he preaches. But then, because of my busy schedule, sometimes we have to find one guy to um, sing. But then, yeah. But when I'm there, I still do my keyboard. I still um, um, work with the choir. Yeah, there are three of them. I have to go for rehearsals on Saturdays. Wow. Yeah, and on Sundays, early morning, six thirty, I should be at church and everything. It has never changed because I feel that's how God blessed me. Interesting. And I can't change. I don't have to. Be, I'm not. I'm never too busy. That's the source of your grace. Exactly. I'm never too busy to do what I have to do for God. So, I've heard a lot of musicians say, well, I started in the church, but I left the church because they started, you know, talking about the kind of songs I was doing, the yeah, kind of okay. clothes I was wearing, yeah. and all that. You know, you've never encountered any of those kind of... Nobody from your church has ever asked you, well, why do you sing about love and sex and all those things? No, nobody. no. I guess it's because they saw me growing up. You get it? They yeah. saw me growing up, one, and then I feel welcomed. And then to be frank... It's my church so that I can sit in front of the church and then eat. Uh-huh. I feel comfortable. I would never go anywhere and then um, um, eat anywhere. You get it? Unless, let's say, it's a dinner or something. But then, Akwaba, please read the message. Uh, the, there's a message on the screen for you. Read, 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 read the second one. Let me open it for <laughs> you. Hold on. Yes, this one. Uh-huh. What does it say? Uh, hold on. Let what me it? find uh-huh. it. <laughs> uh-huh. Please, the last one. What uh, does it okay, say? George, did Akwaba say he's single? Please, this is my number. My name is Eran Machre from Teshi. Oh, oh, what do you do, Lati? Rasta is also single. And I know Teshi. In the jam, I feel. Oh, well, yeah, that is, you've already copied the number, right? <laughs> <laughs> the number is visible, so I'm sure you've copied the number. And this one says, uh, Hello, George. Sala Kwabwa, I love him. There's something about that guy. He is very talented, and I love Hold Me Down. My name is Vanessa Ikiya Kunedu from Spintex. Hold Me Down, too. Without company, Vanessa. Hey, yeah, that's I mean, interesting. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm glad your church hasn't, because I've heard a number of musicians complain about this, that, oh, and yeah. the church, and the church, and the church, and the church. I guess oh. it's because of what they're looking for. Sometimes, you know, when you're an instrumentalist or a singer yeah. church, you would want to be paid and stuff, and then when you don't get it coming, mm-hmm. it becomes a problem. Mm-hmm. But for me, I feel no amount of money that they give me at church can satisfy my needs. Exactly. It is only God that can give me what I, what I want or what I need. So everything that I do now, I do, and I keep telling you, some of my friends at church that see, oh my boy, my mom will see, but mm-hmm. then soon, mm-hmm. because I, I can tell you for a fact that apart from the keyboard that I play, I, I play, I don't know how I make it, but men kasem hochreme, and to be boshua, I don't really mind, because even if I don't p- perform, I still write songs for people, I still produce for people, and to date, because of the things I do, 
a mad that some of us were never watching me to the point where I can't even take care of my family. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm. But that's, that's yeah. interesting. And that's one thing I keep telling people that you might want to leave, but then, hey, the gift is it's yours though, but God gave it to you and then. At least, fucker, come on. For a very long time, you were in the background, um, backing vocalist, writing songs for people and all that. Which was that one song that propelled you into the lim- limelight? I think it was the first song that I wrote. Which, which was? was? Um, Darker Da. Okay. Becker's Darker Da. Becker's Darker Da, yeah. That's what defined you. Yeah. I mean, okay. and I remember um, talking to Kiki about Darker Da, and then he was like, I actually wanted to sell the song for 1,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> I'm being honest. I oh, okay. Say, yeah. Because then I didn't know what I had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, to me, it was just a song that I'd written, and then okay, Gigi, from my back to Gigi mm-hmm. point, and then Gigi was like, "You don't know what you've done. Let me pro- uh, promote this song and tell the world of everybody that you wrote this song and see where this song is going." This to is be. the one that won you song writer of the year. Exactly. Exactly. But then yeah, the it was Dakeda and then um, Ayinyum. Yeah. 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 And they and were both nominated. Yeah, yeah nominated, and they all had awards. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, even before my I do love you came. Mm. Yeah, so. And this is the song he's talking about. For those of you that never had the opportunity to hear it, Becca Dakeda, written by Akwabwa. How should I put it? <laughs> he is he has a lot of work because he's very talented. Yeah. He knows his stuff. How 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 was it like working with Kiki? <laughs> um <laughs> Kiki <laughs> <laughs> That's another household name. <laughs> Kiki <laughs> 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 Hey Kiki, well um working with Kiki was kinda let me be honest, was Annoying, like, very, huh. very annoying. I know, I mean, yeah, but then because he's a perfectionist, yeah, but then yeah. it was worth it, yeah. Um, Kiki was the one who taught me how to wait, uh-huh. you get it. There were times that um, he would put some things out there, even business wise, and then he would go broke, and then he would want to eat Gary for like six months because he knows what he's going to get wow. in the seventh month. Wow, and then when the thing happened, he was like, oh, bro. I was the first person he called. And then I went there, and he said, "Wow!" So there were lessons that I picked up from there, and musically, Kiki was the one. Who, you know, it was a band that we were all part yeah, of, the yeah, Patch Bay band, yeah, yeah. Patch Bay. with Philip and so yeah. He would annoy. He, he, he actually gave you people that name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kiki was there. Mm-hmm. So um, I learned a lot from that side. Yeah, because I, 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 I remember very. Oh, yeah. I remember very well. One stars of the future, and yeah. I was writing the script. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, I wanted MC introduce people and then the band. So I think, what's the name of the band? Say Adekam, right? Patch B. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get it. Um, yeah. So I learned a lot from um, Gigi. It was kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes he would fight me. I remember one time at the girls' talk, we were rehearsing, and yeah. he was standing at the gate. Mm-hmm. And I think Frankie told me not to play the keyboard for some reason. I forgot. And I touched it. <laughs> and then he started insulting me from the angle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, what the heck is wrong with you? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, there were times that, you know, we, we fought and there were times that we... So, um, with him, but trust me, whoever he is, God bless him. Because there are some things that I learned from when I was working with him. That level of patience to do something good. You would have your beats. Okay, my parents say, boo, check it, come. It's going to go like, nah. You can't always play them like the way everybody plays it. <coughs> Let's try and find another way of getting it done. Mm-hmm. And when we find that way, you could tell, say, and, and we cry a chain, the one that you suggested. Exactly. Really. So, yeah. What um, makes you angry? You don't look, I've never seen you angry. Um, I hate lies. We all do. I mean, but yeah. lies, lies don't make me angry. 
Yeah. I hate lies too, but they don't make me angry. What what makes you angry? I I don't think I kind of really get angry like you're saying. The only thing that gets me angry is you nimse no kweni ni na wuchan. Na wuchan tro. Yeah, that, yeah. That gets me angry. Like 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 which one? I like I like where you are going. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I was seven times <laughs> last, but if you open the door, yeah. if you open the gate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> open open <laughs> gate. <laughs> If you yeah, open the gate, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Mukwe just passed through. Yeah. Okay, like, you, I know you're part of them. And you, you believe you should have won some award that just ended VGMAs. Yeah, which which, which category were you yeah, so yeah. sure you were gonna win? Record of the year. Mm-hmm. Record of the year with uh, uh, Sambra. Sambra, yeah. yeah, yeah. You see me, enyumbi uh, enyumdi, but you see you should know songs with progressions, songs with modulations, mm-hmm. and how it was sung and everything. You could tell it wasn't just played. Yeah. I say, yeah. It, it was it's a whole people coming together to work on that song. Mm-hmm. You get my point. So so in the progression you know how it's sung no, and then modulations and everything. Oh. No, it's record of the year technical one. It is. It is technical. Yeah, and no, um nobody moves it is that. actually one of the technicals <laughs> that um as a board member I can say it takes a lot of pain to decide yeah. where it goes because you have to listen over record of the year, songwriter of the oh, year, yeah, yeah. video of the year, they take a lot of time because you have to watch over and over oh, okay, and yeah. over and debate and argue and fight. You're really and sure of what you're saying. About, I am <laughs> telling you. How about a vocal, vocal, I like that. vocal uh, Oh, when Robert comes, you he'll speak. Don't worry. Uh, let, let's focus on Akwabwa for I mean, now. Let's, yeah. let's use facts. When you listen to Sambra, everything that makes a good music mm. was in there. Mm. Are you saying that, in your opinion, uh, yes. Sambra was the best produced song in that category, better than all the other songs? I think so. But Sambra yeah, Sambra was up yeah I think I have Sambra somewhere. We we can but we we we'll talk VGM after this. We are focusing on mm, Aquabua. Okay, um and you know song is a great song too. I mean I think um 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 what's that is that other guy's name? Can I was Gnata you know George songs of today do not have let the ingredients Akwabwa exactly. is talking about. Yeah. And, uh, and that's a fact. Uh, if, if you're saying uh, songs of today do not have a, The songs of today include Sambra. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 what I'm saying is... Yeah. You see yeah. what he's talking about? Yeah. What makes a good song? Yeah. yeah. I've always said that songs are constructed. Exactly. You know? And yeah. I've kept making that point on this show. That they are constructed. But unfortunately, for the populace out there... Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. listening to the songs, that's not what they look out for. Yeah. yeah. So if a Kwaba talks about his song being the most strong song there. Strong song. To have one record of the year. It. Let's yeah. hear Sambra for those who haven't heard it before.
Tambra. And I'm being told that in all fairness, to make it a fair uh, debate, so that we can just close it, um, we should also play the song that won, Bogatanga Girl by Ochiame Kwame. So just one second of that one and then we'll go. Tanga girl, let us come back into the studios um, and we'll continue the conversation. Um, gentlemen, so maybe when we get to the VGM, is this one of the things we'll look no, at? No, we can speak about this. So yeah. We later in the VGM. Okay, so we can skip it. Uncle Ken. Huh? Uncle Ken, what's your take? So you uh, like for me, what? for me, I think both are great production. Yeah, they are. Yes. Boga Tanga yeah. girl, great production. Yeah. Sambra, great production. And Sambra actually had some good relevance with the year of return yeah. thing. Yeah. And yeah. it was yeah. released. Yeah. At the right time and all that. And also, even yeah. for the Tanga girl, you also had uh, I mean, a silver lining of purple. So it was also hi- highlighting the whole Kaya movie. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. So both yeah. are gonna start Female empowerment and all that. George. Umbra. Yes, Uncle oh, Ken. Choices. Morgan. Yes. Choices. They vary. They vary. Yeah. You know, me, the sort of music I like. Mm. If I hear the first few bars of Sambra, eh, yeah. and I listen to the first few bars of, of Boga Tanga girl. Tanga girl, and I was to make a, a decision, choice. yeah. I'd go straight for Sambra because it has what I look out for exactly. in a song. And like you rightly said, choices. Yes. I like that. I like that. Let's move on. Let's move on. So, your dad said it was your idea Yeah. for the remake of Arachetri. Yeah, exactly. Why? Because, um, like I was saying, <coughs> anytime I perform mm-hmm. at an event, you could just tell by the way people accept their song. Mm. You get my point? And yeah. then, I would want to do something with that, yes. Mm. But I was just looking for an entry. And a Retiche was a song. Mm. So great. when that yeah, when that wanted great us to song. do something, I was like, wouldn't it be great song? Obey all the idea, but da. The older cobra still sounded. Yeah. It's still the same. This is what we are going to do. This is what we are going to do. No, but that's a song. I mean so definitely This is what we're gonna for those that haven't heard the original. Let us play the original first, then we'll come back and hear the new one. Aquaba, you are performing. Let's go.
No way. was sampled from Julio Iglesias, right? The original version? Yeah, that's what I heard, yeah. Uh, so you heard? Mm. But you haven't heard Julio Iglesias' I, version? I actually have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's a beautiful sample. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We, we, we are done. Right? Mm-hmm. Who? You want to ask a question? What question? Which, which genre is this particular song? Oh, this is High Life. Oh, this is Reggae. The original was High Life, but this is Reggae. <laughs> Anna. This yeah, reggae. Yeah, this is reggae. 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 I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to put that class before next year. Yeah, when it's nominated <laughs> in the reggae category, <laughs> fights go come. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Aqua, we're wrapping it up. Charlie. Um, um, I mean, VGM is offended. Congratulations. Um, I keep saying the honor lies in the nomination. For me, the nomination is even more important yeah. than the win. Uh, when you go to the University of Ghana or any university, they will tell you that getting a first class is an honor. It's awarded. You don't earn it. Mm. Um, so you just have to make sure you pass your papers. If they reward you or honor you with a first class, which is like the plaque, plaque that's yeah, it. Cool. You know. But the fact that you were nominated, I no, think yeah. that is where the actual honor is. So, Charlie... Congratulations. And and, um, uh, he doesn't have to agree. <laughs> he doesn't have to agree. He doesn't have to agree. That's I respect that. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I know since that line. Every every nominee is a potential winner. I say we should discuss it. Uh, that that's his opinion. Charlie, uh, anything you want to say out there to your fans? Where if yeah. those of us who want to access your music, how can we get it? When okay. is the next album coming or next single? What's happening next with Aquabua from now till end of the year? Okay, so um I actually wanted to wrap my ear up with um, a chair. Mm-hmm. So depending on um, what I feel yeah. as an artist, I might want to release something. But if I don't, it, but it's still going to be with me and that, though. Definitely. But if I don't, um, then um, I think I'm done for the year. Exactly. All I have to do, because I've got pushed to me. I've got many, many days. I've got one day. I've got a chair for this whole year. It's been a good year for you. Yeah, it's been a strong one for you me. You are seeing some good awards coming your way next yeah, year? Yeah. No, 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 Is it the water bottle man. type or the plate type? Oh, maybe it's a question. It's just a question. Let me pass. Akwamu, Charlie, thank you very much. It's been an honor. Yes. Before he leaves, when we close today, when we wrap up, everybody will go. Yeah. Yeah, but if I really want to live peacefully, I should state emphatically that I am not single in as much as I'm not married. <laughs> I am not single. Rasa, thank you. Okay, well, it's been an honor. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you, thank you for having me.
Boy Awards event and handed out several silverware to celebrities in Ghana. Already, the story of how he managed to pull off what many have described as monumental scam has been trending for hours. So we called him to find out what his motivation was. Because I'm surprised. This is an open thing that we just have them. If anybody had a problem with me or our institution, should have come to me or contacted us for clarification. You're calling us fake. You know, I don't know the root people even are threatening me now, but I have to say it. But they are politicizing things. That's why I never wanted to uh, answer any media house this morning. I have been an underdog for development, for excellence in honoring others, uh, uh, attaching myself to global icons and leadership to bring this out. Some people, they shy. Where did they come from? Hmm. Initiator of the controversial leadership awards came titled Global Blueprint Excellence Award. He debunked all allegations that the awards came was a scam. And it comes after Kwame Fosu Fojo accused of um, using the United Nations and former UN General Secretary Kofi General's name to make the awards came appear credible. And that interview was with Joy News last Friday where he insisted that the award was credible since he's an advocate of development and the excellent leadership. The Global Blueprint Excellence Award was held last week, Friday, August 28th, in Accra at the Alisa Hotel. It was attended by a host of Ghanaian personalities and celebrities, including D Black, Sarkodi, Nathaniel Ato. DJ Black was in there, but he won an award. Daughters of Glorious Jesus, Natalie Fort, and a lot more. Oh, Johnny Hughes won an award too. Uh, you say? Yes, today is his birthday. I was about to say a happy birthday to him. You know, since it's his birthday today, I'm sure he can pour some juice into the flask. And sip it slowly. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you have to sip it slowly. I go again. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, we have to move forward. Please, um, uh, what do you make of the global, um, uh, uh, what do you call it again? <laughs> global Blueprint Excellence Award Scheme. Uh, sorry, sorry, stop lying. I'm serious. This is a serious show, Charlie. Discerning listeners are tuned in. So, you know, when I found out, when I saw this on Friday, mm-hmm. Friday, and I see Friday, yeah. I told uh, my guys, Ricky, that I, I, I think this is a fake award, and this is why I said so. Literally, there's nothing involving Kofi Annan that would not have the involvement of his son, Kujo, Kujo Annan. So, obviously, when I saw that, okay, I mean, this is not something that Kujo Annan is involved in. in immediately, I mean, it, it raised the red flags for me. And then I saw the citation and how the design and the way it came out. I said, no, 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 no. definitely this wouldn't be a UN sanctioned or Kofi Annan thing. So the next day, Saturday, he was with uh, Miss G. And, uh-huh. and then on the basis of the, his promptings that we had already discussed that this is fake, they made a call. Apparently, they called somebody that Miss G knew at uh, the UN. Yeah. Where they confirmed that it was still fake. However, there was something that held everybody from talking about it. Fanatism. I mean, Ricky didn't want to talk about it. Mm. I didn't want to talk about it because, I mean, for me, I had just been have my mind that between now and December I wasn't going to allow my timeline to be used to mm-hmm. gauge fanatics because definitely it would have been couched as somebody who was hating you know and so everybody that knew about it from Friday, Saturday, Sunday I mean instructively everybody kept quiet about it yeah. because they didn't want to put it that because literally when you put out something that has to do with I mean specific talents whether you have facts or not you are going to spend your weekend or your time engaging I mean ignorant fanatics. Mm-hmm. You know, and so nobody really wanted to do that. So we were quietly there always almost always laughing about it like ah this thing. Then I mean it broke out on Thursday or Friday I think. And then we knew that okay this thing I mean we had said it. Interesting. Uncle Ken, some have said those who were swindled, uh, uh, swindled, that, that's the right word, isn't it? Uh, uh, some have said hoodwinked. Oh, hoodwinked, exactly. That's even better. Um, should have done due diligence and they are being blamed. Are they to blame, really? Oh, George, I, I find that a bit too harsh. Mm-hmm. 
I, I sincerely do yes. find that a bit too, too harsh. harsh that they are to blame. I, yeah. I'm, I'm saying that how many awards mm -hmm. don't we have in this country? Exactly. Does everybody that is selected or nominated for an award go about searching out to see digging who into to see who's behind it, who behind the behind the awards are and blah 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 blah. A few questions because this was supposed to be the seventh. Exactly. Okay, so I'm asking myself, have there been six before the seventh? That you I don't know the answer to. Seventh edition? Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, that's what that, I thought it was supposed to be. That's that's that, I think I heard that somewhere too. Yeah, seventh edition. Edition of... And I'm asking myself, have there been six already <coughs> that we don't know about? They were organized on a small scale. Maybe. And... I do not want to blame the recipient too much. Yeah. <clears throat> but upon hindsight, if you see some of the videos that have come out, yeah, and see this gentleman and the way he goes about expressing himself, and blah 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 blah. The size of his. The size of his what? Suit. <laughs> <Call me. laughs> that, that could be pardoned. You, you <laughs> that, it's too much. Yeah, uh, no, that, but Kwame, that you can't be organized like Kofi Annan or whatever. He has lots of them too. That's my problem. Yeah, he changes, yes. And all be oversized. <laughs> That's the way he likes them. Okay. That's the way he likes them. Yeah. I, I, I find the whole thing disturbing. Yeah. And. I feel very sorry for the recipients because all of us, you, George Way, yeah, you congratulated mm. Nathaniel Ato. Uh, well, the uh, next thing. I had to. Oh, <laughs> the man had won an award. I did. Ah, huh? A whole lot of them. They all congratulated I Nathaniel Ato. I can't, Lato. don't worry. Beyond congratulations. They congratulated. Uh, oh, wait. Kojo Black. Uncle Ken. But you see me. Uncle Ken, hold on. Congratulatory messages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming through on the Joy FM page on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. I took my time and I said, "Ah, what? What, what happened? What happened?" happened? Like? <laughs> uh, so I did not join in the congratulatory message, not because I knew I even knew what had happened. Ah, but you thought it ended at the congratulations. Part. After the congratulations, we did news. You did we news. We only had the news item hey. on it. <laughs> you see, so I'm asking myself, and these same people who did the congratulatory messages are now trolling too. Yeah. And I asked myself, so you, who are you blaming? The recipient or you yourself who congratulated the recipient? So that's why I'm saying I don't think we can blame the recipient yeah. that much. You know? it, it looked genuine. The gentleman have read some history. Yeah. And it's like he's been accosted and uh, charged for certain things that he had tried doing. Mm. Apparently, he had tried organizing some award scheme for rural banks okay. That's in the past, That's in the year 2010. Oh. He had tried organizing an award scheme for rural banks, mm -hmm. and he nearly succeeded mm -hmm. until he was invited mm. by the bank's committee mm -hmm. to find out exactly what the award scheme was going to be about, mm -hmm. and it was at that time that they had suspicions because of the way he came across mm -hmm. you, you understand mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and he had also hoodwinked some uh, uh, students of the universe uh, KNUSD parents into past questions and things and got monies for, there's been so much about the guy so mm -hmm. I'm like ah so if we know all this about this man why has he succeeded in doing different things all the time without anybody suspecting him? It's strange, but I think it's a lesson that we've all learned. And nowadays when people come up with, you know, these award schemes, mm -hmm. uh, different names and things, people will take their time to... Sakodye, please, mm -hmm. just before I, I, I yeah. quit. People are saying... Sakodie had gone for the award and paid a thousand Ghana. 
Have you heard? He uh, I've heard. I've heard it wasn't just him, but everybody who won an award paid a thousand CDs. So, yeah? so that's what I hear. Yeah, I don't know how true. I haven't verified. I don't know how true, but that's what and I hear. Do you pay for awards? I, I doubt it, Sakodi. I I don't know. I doubt it. That's strange I, I, too. In fact, the source of you see, that it is coming from a parody on. account on uh, Twitter. It depends. Yeah. Okay, for instance, um, an I'll give an example. Fee. I, I won an award last year. Mm-hmm. I was not in Ghana. Mm-hmm. There was an aspect of that award mm-hmm. that I have to... It wasn't an award. The award went with a course. Okay. There was a whole week facilitation with people from the U.S., from Egypt, and other things in um, management and um, some management, something, 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 lessons that we did. And it came with certification from the university of... What's the name of the university? It's in the U.S. I've forgotten. Say again. Did you earn a doctor title afterwards? No, no, no. You didn't earn any doctor title. No, you don't. You don't. It's not the one of those that gives you. It just gives you a certificate to show that you have gone through this course okay. and you're, mm-hmm. and then the award. They had a faculty. A mm-hmm. committee. You have to pay a fee. Uh, you have to pay a fee for the study. Okay. And it was optional. If you didn't want to take the course, mm-hmm. you could just or they could even ask you how much it would cost you. And then they'll ship your award to you. You understand? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I wanted to partake in that course, so I paid for that course mm-hmm. and went to pursue it. Mm-hmm. And I came there. So, it, so there are certain awards, and some of these come up every now and then. If you go online, I can open my inbox where you'd see a lot of those p- people okay. have sent a lot yes. of them. Oh, pay this amount, you can get this award, mm-hmm. you do this. It's all over the place. Some, in all honesty, look very, very legit. And that is why I would also agree with you in saying, though it would have been good for them to have done a bit more due diligence, mm-hmm. I don't think we should blame no, them too much. No, I don't much. think so, George. Or Seriously. No, no, I, I, I don't think that we should spend energies blaming them. I, yeah. I think we should revel in the fact that we have something different to um, excite us. Yeah. Ah. Yes, uh. because, you see, Rasta, yes. Um, I've seen one or two, in fact, presidential hopefuls mm. in the list of <laughs> casualties. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm like, yo, ah, if at think? this stage that you are in your... <laughs> who are the presidential hopefuls? I'm okay. On the list. Toboase. Toboase. Manfra, manfra. Hmm. So again, I think that we should revel in it. We have the right to troll <laughs> them. But then again, um, <laughs> it is what it is that all of us, Mm-hmm. Could have fallen oh, victim, yes. victim to, to what happened. Let's end it there. Uh, we oh, wish yeah, well. George, yes. end it there. George, hold on. Yeah. And whilst we at it, yeah. I think the biggest scam mm-hmm. that is worthy of our time and space is the bit about a manifesto promise that would never see the light of day. That strictly on the merits of what matters to as in the creative art space, mm. should what we should seek an apology from, not some guy who, regular Joe, who is wanting to... very reason I said we should end it there, because I, I, Uncle I, I, Ken, I, I what now see you, uh, where you are coming from. Exactly. We have to end it there. This one, uh, this guy, this anyway, guy, this guy, so this last Saturday... Take, take I, I think that maybe we should have spent some bit more time going into the processes celebrities or popular people go through to filter or not when some of these requests come. Mm. Sadiq, because we've seen you them see, filter a lot of honestly, other industry I, 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 I am always, than this. I always like to take a certain but position when it comes to issues of scam. Mm. The, some of the smartest among us mm-hmm. have been scammed. Right. Mm-hmm. You understand? The, the more so there, is not, judge, there right, isn't judge, enough. Judge, the more reason why you need to shine the spotlight on it so mm-hmm. you can have at least a few more people shine in, in Sadiq, English language, shine their eyes. A bit. Trust me, you can I mean, shine your you eye all you want. Somebody would establish a scheme that would look like it's okay. Let me give you an example. When I was at Barsat, for instance, when I was there, as I mean, executive producer, I had the lassie, mm-hmm. and I was there some day, and they brought some guy, the producers. They we had been pitched in heavily. He had come in from one of the respected presenters from the channel, and everything. Apparently, he was a branding expert, mm-hmm. and some guy who was coming to do mm-hmm. some what, 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 what. And we were supposed to be the last person mm-hmm. before he gets on. Mm-hmm. And because I knew some of these things existed. I said no. I flagged mm-hmm. it and said no. I needed to read his profile again. I needed to understand who he, who is he, what he's done, and everything. Because if no, we were going you, to, you mean say they no go fish come you? No, they go fish come we. I get you, but I'm saying that because we've been, I've been in a space where <laughs> a number of times this thing has come alive. For instance, the moment I saw, I tell you, say on Friday night, mm. 
when I see anything with Kofi Annan mm. involved somewhere, somewhere, you haven't Annan congratulated Annan. anybody that one day. No, you haven't. No. Okay. I actually decided to actually stay off it from the Sunday, mm. from the ma uh, Friday night, mm. till when he broke up. We knew myself and Ricky were actually even laughing off off air because I we you, there were certain things that you would see, and that's what I'm saying mm. that it's fine for you to spend a bit more time on. It. It's like the issue of the fake doctorate mm. because okay. we didn't discuss it holistically. Right. People are still falling. Victim. I mean, as vic victims to mm -hmm. some of these fake doctorates universities. Right. And it's there. So it's mm -hmm. important that you shine a spotlight on these things so that people... George, did you see the ad you played? Yeah. Now, will you tell me that if you hear an ad oh, by the, the, DJ, with Black, DJ Black's voice on it? Ah. Voice on it. <laughs> I didn't hear ad. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. We didn't ah. play it here, though. He I think it was on a Doom FM. It. No, 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 no. It was the song that I played. Oh. I the ad. So it was a song I played. Afternoon, no, no. It, it was. I think Adum FM played it. It wasn't here. We ah, haven't played yes, it. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. It was. Yeah, I think no, Adum FM or no, it was Peace FM that played it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Peace FM that played it. And then you get to see the sponsors and all that. It looked genuine. In all I mean, there were sponsors. Yes. Mentioned in that act. Yes. Now, how are you going to sit back and say I don't trust this when all these sponsors have come on board? Blimey. I think we should leave it at that. And um, <laughs> anyway, we move forward. As I was saying, music's biggest night went down last night at the Grand Arena Accra International Conference Center. And as always. Last night? No, last week. I last Saturday. Last oh, did I say last night? Mm -hmm. Last Saturday. Forgive me. And as always, the conversations have been endless. When we come back from this break, the VGMAs and more. Right here on Showbiz HZ. Look at you. The big boss. You know they hear. You know they fear, who? Hmm? Until somebody says, I will tell your mother. That's why we say wear a mask or else. We will call your mother. Hey, why are you disgracing me? Why your mask? Wear it for her. Wear it for me everywhere you go. MTN. Visit wearitfor.me to send a message to someone. Accidents do happen. It could be a motor accident, a sudden heart attack, or even a stroke, or any other health emergency. The first steps you take are very critical. Should you be involved in or witness an accident, call 112 for the fastest ambulance response. With over 300 well-equipped ambulances all over Ghana, you are assured of the fastest response to your emergency call. Call 112 during critical health emergencies and save your life and that of your family and loved ones. 112, help will come. 112, we are safe. Avoid prank calls as they can lead to loss of life of persons in actual need of help. Be a responsible citizen. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies, nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort Grant and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salaries, mundane, survival-oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive. A growth path is clear, and you can build step-by-step step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business. Until the lions have their own historians, the tales of hunting would always glorify the hunter. I am Nana Ansakwal the fourth. Every Monday at 7 p.m., that's Monday at 7 p.m., I bring you a show I call That's My Opinion on Joy 99.7 FM. It's thought-provoking, it's entertaining, it's informative, and above all, it's about us. On That's My Opinion, the rules are simple. You may agree with me or disagree, but we do it agreeably. Mondays at 7 p.m. will not be the same again because Ahum Mudo, Sahum Mudo, Mitensheni.
Hi, this is Norte Dua, host of Ultimate Health on Joy 99.7 FM. You can simply call me Norte by nature. What can I say? The year 2020 has indeed been a roller coaster of unprecedented challenges that have rocked the very foundations and pillars of life as we know it. The life threatening and life changing realities of the COVID 19 pandemic have brought out the importance of our health and well being and its critical link to everything we truly value and cherish. As you struggle to balance and secure your health, safety and livelihood please be assured that ultimate health on joy 99.7 fm remains your dependable and ultimate guide to healthy living we've got you covered if you're looking for dependable information and solutions that guarantee and protect your health and well-being trust me ultimate health is your best bet ultimate health is a unique platform package to connect you directly to key health experts and practitioners tune in and join the family every sunday at 205 p.m on joy 99.7 fm as we break down today's health issues in a smooth easy to digest interactive format designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge to meet today's health challenges ultimate health is live on facebook and youtube don't miss it it is showbiz a to z It's just gone f- past 5 p.m. on I'm Showbiz A to Z this beautiful Saturday. Showbiz A to Z is probably brought to you by MTN. Don't forget to choose your own bundle, your own way with MTN Flex Bundle. Just dial star 138 hash and enjoy bundles that do not expire. We've been joined by Mr. Robert Clark, Head Communications and Public Events right there at Charterhouse Ghana. Speaking for Charterhouse as an organization. And in this case, matters arising from the VGMAs. A few messages that have popped up. Hello, George. Tola Kwabua. I love him. There is something about that guy. He is very talented and I love Hold Me Down. GQ, please tell Akwabwa Jr. how old he was when his dad released the first Arecha Tres song. Uh, oh, you wanted me to ask him that. Okay. Because, um, GQ, Sadiq. Sadiq knew it was a scam because it is said it takes one to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not to say he is one, but... Let him continue. That's uh, Humphrey London. Humphrey, I think that's unfair. Sadiq is a very decent gentleman. George, bamboozled. Bamboozled. Wagadji. Way of forward now, Ruta. George, please saw Rasta and broken hearted. The way I feel him, pa, his voice alone. Why is he saying he is not single? Because I feel him brutal. Jo- gorgeous Aduli. Yes. I don't gorgeous. So. Rasta. Gorgeous Aduli. It's a hit. So the event went down at the Grand Arena Accra International Conference Center. The winners were announced, and as soon as Artist of the Year was announced, this happened.
Fusion all over the place. We've been joined by VGM historian. I know that's some webby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, good afternoon. Let's get into it. So um, just a quick roundup. A lot of matters have um, uh, come up regarding the VGMAs. Um, some being um, Speech... Um, uh, what's the name of the company? Speech Studios. Speech Productions in Japan. Asking why they played Shatawali and Stoneboy songs at the event. And all that's more you do is um, telling people to shut up because no artist has outgrown the VGMAs. No, Akwabwa Senior, he has emphasized that right here on the show. He says musicians should sing more, stop miming. And then there were some artists who won their very first VGMAs in the history of the scheme. Celestine Donko Sinaso. Dope Nation, Emoji Music, J. Dorobi, Kofi Mole, Raskuku, Famea, Teflon Flex. Uh, Teflon Flex won on Sang. On Sang is not really. Well, uh, oh, it's still VGM. Kwame Dazi has been busy. Three reasons Sarkodie's VGM Artist of the Year loss is heartbreaking. Then there is that Sonny Bad banter with Obi Nate. Then Kwame Dazi goes ahead to suggest five changes that he believes organizers ought to make at the VGMA. So a lot has been going on. You know, a lot, a lot. And a lot of radio stations have been talking. But, gentlemen, first off, I think we should speak about the... Let's speak about the event before we go into the production. Arnold, fortunately, oh, for once it was a TV event. You weren't in the auditorium because you were at Peace FM and you monitored from your TV screen. How would you score the event? What did you see? Um, I mean, Chatter House and event organization, it's, it's, it's always like, you're always expectant with regards to what to expect. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys have been doing... Okay. They've been doing this for the past 20 years. Yeah. So, um, it was expected that they would they would put up a stellar performance with regards to the organization. And for me, I was not disappointed at all, uh, considering what we've been going through with regards to COVID and all. Um, for some of us, we're not even expecting the thing to come. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess we are supposed to be discussing sh- songs that will be making waves the, next the following year. And so, usually, April, May, we are done with it. Yeah. Um, but I guess... Uh, at a point, uh, I and a few others felt, listen, this thing will not come off. But for Chatterhouse to pull it off and be quintessential Chatterhouse with, with, with putting up the event for me, I think it was, it was good. My only little challenge was once it was being produced for television, um, I always feel audience play a pivotal role when it comes to awards, especially when I telecasting it to people. Yeah. However, we did not see much of the audience and their endeavor, how they were acting and all. Mm-hmm. The lighting for the audience was, was virtually non-existent. Mm-hmm. And I was expecting it to show how whether we were clapping. You wanted a bit more illumination on the audience. For you. That yeah. was my only challenge. Apart from that, um, I feel it was like 90%. Sadiq, know. let us speak to artists' performances. Were you impressed? Yes. I mean, I had some few uh, impressed performances. Get closer so to your Don microphone. Course, yeah. performance was a good one. Kwame Eugene's performance was a good one as well. And then, yes, Adina and uh, and Kitty. Kitty. That was a very, very good performance as well. Nakorex? You know, I mean, a few of the performance. And then Nakorex, of course. I mean, that that was the high point of the event. Mm-hmm. The fact that these oldies are still able to hold, I mean, the crowd and excite them as much as possible. You know, so it, it was good. It was good. Ken, were you able to steal a glance at the event? Yes. Uh, you remember, <coughs> I told you last week that yeah. Raya sent me yes, an invite. An invite. Yeah. And uh, I just love the way things were done. Yeah. You realize that there was so much work put into this event. Yeah. Look at the invites that were sent. Yeah. And the conditions that came with With it, the invitation. With the invitation, you know. Yeah. Detailing how you... Uh, get there, how you get parked, how you join a shuttle that takes you to the event uh, place. The grounds, yeah. The protocols you had to go through. I thought it was so impressive and detailed. 
and and I liked that about the organization, you know. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't attend, but I was able to uh, still glances at uh, some of the performances <laughs> on TV, and uh, I, I just felt that it was a well organized event. Again, people would say that the the, the invited guests were calm and were not the usual jump up and down kind of thing so people were not uh, people who were home watching felt that it was a bit dull mm -hmm. you, you know in in that aspect and uh, i and some of the uh, performances seriously like Okawa's father said you know some of the performances didn't come out the way they should have you questioned some people's vocal abilities at that event, and you wondered whether they had enough time to rehearse or there were other issues that made them perform below par. You know, some of them performed below par for me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to uh, pinpoint those ones. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, Ch Charter House has done a wonderful job. You know, when we get into the nitty gritties, uh, there are a few things I would like to point out. But for the overall yeah. event, I think it was worthwhile. Rasta, over the years, I mean, the 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 discussion regarding who hosts the VGMAs, it's it's been pretty big. You know, how was emceeing for you on both nights? Oh. Because let's not forget the event where it wasn't two nights. It wasn't just a one night event. Though, yeah, some will say the main night was a Saturday night, so maybe it's better we focus more on that one. I mean, really, it was a two-night event, so it would be fair to, yeah, look at it across the night. How was the MCN for you, regardless which night you watched? Uh, for me, I have always um, decried the death in quality and, um, if you want, panache with regards to um, the list of probables we have when we are considering an MC <coughs> for an August event like a VGM is. Mm -hmm. I never liked the bit about the multiple times that Sifan Kain had to host because really and truly um, he was the best. Yeah. But when you compare it to other jurisdictions or other territories, you'd realize that that's an area Ghana we've not honed or we've not trained enough. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, the bit about Gardner's, um, you look amazing, bit, yeah. you look amazing. And hey, I think that I'd rather we, it, it has to be better. Mm -hmm. But then again, do we bring in the Chinese to do this one too? <laughs> <laughs> You know, we've had one of who have done a great, I mean, Ator. And, uh, uh, Which of the Atos? Um, Both Atos have hosted it before. Yes. Both not Nathaniel. The, the award-winning Atos or Chris Atos? Please, Chris Atos. Uh, okay, all right. That's the more reason he missed out on the flags, you know, okay. because he's there, like, mm. yeah. Not to take anything away from Nat, but with VGM is Chris Atos carved a niche for himself with some stellar performances mm. back in the day but after 21 years this is the 21st year right yeah this is the 21st um, edition who which button talents out there are we are the hopefuls mm. you know i think that's where the conversation should go because it is quite still or it is it's quite bland when you look at my expectations for an award show that's the reason I'll use the word bland and it's that high, you know. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I think that it's one essential area, key component, because you guys have... Uh, what, sorry, is? I'm sorry. Chatterhouse has <laughs> over the years... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's still part of it. <laughs> 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 what is it? You don't want to be um, over the years, I mean, after 21 years, you expect progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's as evidenced in how things have gone. In fact, last year would have been yeah, like world acknowledged, like, yeah. you know, to have broken barriers for us all, and then what happened happened. So, again, it is not in doubt the way they have progressed. Mm. Quite clearly, 21 years has had has informed the quality and I mean, mistakes are part of. So, I would say that let's pay attention to the MC in bit. If we need to donate, because quite clearly, it is going to stay till the end of time. Arnold, do you feel Ghana is suffering with MCs? 
Oh, is that a problem? No, 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 no. I mean, in the last 21 years, we uh-huh. can count different personalities that have hosted whether it's a red carpet event or, yeah, the, main or the main event. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not sure we have a problem with, with the number of MCs or compares that we But have. he is speaking about new talent <coughs> because some have also said, why is it always the same people? Oh, for example, if you talk about red carpet events, when yeah. you go to the Oscars mm-hmm. and the Emmys, and we always see Ranchik. Oh, Ryan Chris is always there. And yeah. Ranchik. They are the ones who actually oversee the red carpet. People so build those yes. of careers. But, but yes. that, that narrative about the same faces nah. is actually even not true. Mm-hmm. Take a look at it. I mean, when did Belamundi start hosting? Two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. Yeah. Last two years, last yeah. year, mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. So there's mm-hmm. been a change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take a look at the red carpet. Yeah. Last year there was a change. This year, yeah. entirely new faces on the record. Right. Yeah. James Gardner and um, something in for Regina. Yeah, Regina. So every it's not Regina. 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 So every <laughs> <laughs> say my, it right. My issue, Thank my you issue. very much. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not oh, concerned uh, uh, yes. about the choice yeah. of of personalities that are um, given the, the the mantle to actually do the hosting. My problem with Gardner and Regina. <laughs> 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 don't insult my boy. Don't insult him. Yeah. I think there was lack of preparation. Okay. Because when you're hosting a red carpet, mm-hmm. you definitely know you're going to interview personalities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And apart from the usual, who are you wearing? You also need to improvise mm-hmm. and ask them about their craft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so if you're not armed with that information, mm-hmm. you always look bland yeah. or silly. But they don't know who was coming and on the yes. red carpet no, at a particular time. But Uncle Ken, I they know. I think that is that, where an order is coming yes. from. Because that is a preparation. Yes. You should have an idea. I, yes, 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 I yes, get you. Yes. Lack yes. of preparation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And also lack of information. And so by virtue of they not knowing mm-hmm. the personality they were going mm-hmm. to interview, mm-hmm. they also were not armed exactly. with so the That's more like coordination. Lack yes. of coordination. Lack of coordination. Yeah. Production. Production mm-hmm. and yes. the personality mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was my... Like, yes, that's, that's true. And red carpet, you need to be... You need that. Yes, you need that information. Yes. Otherwise, you always go like, who am I wearing? Amazing, mm-hmm. amazing, amazing. Because you don't have information. And yeah. can that question be asked in a different way? It, like, like amazing grades? No. Whom, oh. Who's <laughs> 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 The who are you wearing question. You know, the who are you wearing question. Yes. Yes. It's can't it be asked in a different way? In a different way. way. But then you still end up figuring out who made the dress. Correct. But I agree with you. Mm. The whom are you wearing, you know, statement can yes. always be refined. Altered. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, can I think there's but some the red drama. Carpet, uh, sorry, hold on. Let one voice. Let the red carpet we'll come to you. Yeah. event yeah. is supposed to showcase the fashion designer. Correct. And the apparel. Yeah. Correct. And so it's always significant for the viewers to know who made who the dress. Who actually made that, That's so, true. But you can tune it or alter that statement, whom are you wearing. It's very important. Yeah. Otherwise, it becomes redundant and very annoying and nauseating to the year when it always comes. When it mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. repeats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sadiq, mm-hmm. you were saying something. For me, I think that, I mean, there's some... Uh, the, the drama and then the talkability is fine as well. Where, yes, sometimes everybody is... Everybody thinks that it's monotonous to keep saying, who are you wearing, who are you mm. wearing. But, I mean, why not? Oh, we have a surprise visitor in the studio. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, this is interesting. Yes. This is I'm unexpected. Let me just break time. protocol and yeah. take two minutes of your time so that he can go. Okay. Yes. Hey, rocks there. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been joined by VGMA, reigning VGMA artist of the year, Kwame Eugen. Uh Let's just take two minutes of Kwame Eugen's time, then we'll continue with our conversation. Kwame, Boss. people say you don't deserve the plaque, you should return it. Hello, this question, I get that no, like no, 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 no. Uh, What, what? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I should return it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, you haven't seen on Twitter at all? No. Ah, you haven't seen? I have seen. Have you seen? I it? haven't seen return it, but I, I see. But you seen that? I see you don't deserve yeah, it. You don't deserve it. Return it, yeah. Return it, yeah. Return it, yeah. But, but if you don't deserve it, return it. But come on, you have everyone. But return it. So how does it feel winning an award of this nature and almost everybody is saying you don't deserve it? I don't know if that's what you hear the most. I don't know whether you are hearing more congratulations than you don't deserve it or more you don't deserve it than congratulations you deserve Actually, it. I'm hearing more congratulations than that's you deserve it. That's good. And, and the good thing is, I keep saying that where my strength comes from uh-huh. is not from social media. Okay. The number of people that support community, the number of people that put food on my table, mm-hmm. They're not on Twitter. I, I can come in and did that. Mm-hmm. Because these t- uh, Twitter fingers are more. They're dead than more. Oh, my man, Kasa. They are listening and preparing for you. Trying I know, to I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna. Mm. No, but when you're my side on Twitter, they only say, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you're locked out. But w- what I'm trying to say is the people that voted for me. 
you know for sure say can't wait and come here. I mean, if an artist is going to train in this country and it's not stoneboy shatawali sako dia, na ye artist for phobia. Either maybe Twitter, I think Kosiata as well. And then and your monk of four we are. Maybe I will be sure uh, we, we speak English. And yeah. I said, Oh, sorry. Yes. Maybe they're trying to talk about the person's maybe outfit and I said, yeah. shoe, how big his shoe is. Or uh, I can promise. Oh, please, I didn't okay. mention him. Yeah. Go, go ahead, don't. And, and, or maybe how they think the person doesn't present himself well or some yawa happened the person. That is what happens on Twitter. Mm. But on the other hand, when I say, the grassroots is where the love comes from. I mean, that person that sells tomatoes out there, I mean, mm-hmm. the pure water seller, the ice water seller, those people, mm-hmm. if they want to vote 1111 for you, mm-hmm. it counts a lot, and that's what makes me. What do you think won you the award? Have you sat down to actually analyze what won it for you? I think, <clears throat> let, me, let me use my positioning as an example. Why I won this very particular award started from 2016. Mm. The consistency from Angela to Wish Me What to Beato to Never Carillas to I Dream Fee to I mean every single feature that I'm on is a big song. That is where it started from. So I get a lot of people saying, Oh, this award crash should have been last year, not this year and I'm I keep asking myself this same question that those saying that this award should have been given to Kwame Eugene last year, but because of one or two situations it, I mean it wasn't given to him and they scratched the award, nobody got the award didn't have anything to say about the fact that this young boy just lost something big in his life and what if you know win him again mm. we didn't talk about it because we didn't care but now the same people care about the fact that oh no be this year it should have been last year where were you last year so i'm just saying that <clears throat> but then again we live in ghana we are very opinionated mm-hmm. people like to express themselves and the last thing i would do is to say that please don't express yourself as some now can me i don't know no 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 I respect the fact that people express themselves. Everybody's opinion. And the fact matters. that they want to share their opinions. Yeah. And I respect it very well. Kwame, congratulations. Gentlemen, Kwame Eugene is here. Anybody has anything to say? Congratulations. All right. Kwame, we won't take too much of your time, but Thank keep you. listening. Because um, uh, no. if we need to call you, we'll call yeah, you into yeah, the show. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is Raining VGMA Artist of the Year, Kwame Eugene. And now that Kwame, since Kwame Eugene has been here, we might as well just go straight into it. I don't. I have heard you. I've had a number of conversations mm. that um, you seem to have a problem with some of the winners. Oh. A few of the categories. You seem to be uncomfortable. I don't know if we... S- well, I don't know. But um, you see... Discussion. Yeah. Um, deliberation. Mm-hmm. And banter. After every award came, is a normal process. It's a phenomenon. It is part of that process. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. The talk before the awards, the conversation during, during the awards, and then the post and the aftermath. Yeah, and so I find it difficult when people are saying, "Oh, shut up!" and blah blah blah, and you are not supposed to. Oh, why are people saying that? Oh, a lot of I get the, the feeling a lot. You understand? It is part of the process because you need that chatter after every awards came. Check all over the world, from the Grammy to the Oscar, wherever BET. After the awards are given out, you actually get people saying, well, I feel it should have gone this way. I should. It doesn't mean the award should be taken away from the gentleman yeah. and mm-hmm. given to somebody else. And it doesn't mean he didn't deserve it yes, either. it's just a conversation exactly. that, that comes at, at the aftermath of the award. And it's supposed to be a normal phenomenon. Which is good for both the award yeah. winner, the so fellow me, nominees, so and me. the brand. And you see, over the period, like you're saying, you've heard me. Because... I'm speaking based on a certain category, category definition mm-hmm. That's, that, that was supposed to guide the academy, mm-hmm. the board, and the general public in mm-hmm. choosing the eventual winner. And I say, based on that category definition, I feel, and I don't really mind that, that the gentleman said, congratulations to him. He's won it. Mm-hmm. And there's no way that he's going to return it. Mm-hmm. It is a plus. Because when you consider his career, it's been a steady and an impressive progress mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from 2017 when he won new artist of the year uh, producer of the year album of the year 2018 he won high life artist of the year again 2020 high life artist of the year so steady progress yeah mm-hmm. but based on that definition that you gave i'm mm-hmm. saying you mean the, the schemes definition, the scheme yeah. definition for the artist of, of the year for the artist mm-hmm. of the year well, what does it even say that oh the artist okay. you know are judged by the board academy and public to have Hi, hit song, album. Of course I do, but I'm the host. And you know, the yeah. distinctive <laughs> statement is the one supposed to have attained the highest audience appeal. 
And I keep saying that based on that, I feel Sako they deserved it. You understand? Based on that, you, you get. But that is just one. Isn't that just no, one me, of the several other? No, the several ingredients that make up the winner. Several ingredients is normal to every nominee. Mm. The only one that would make you distinct one nominee from the other is this very statement. Because the the first one says the artist must have attained hit song, hit album. All of them had it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The other one says um, the artist must have received um, a lot of nominations within that period. They, they all had it. more than two or three. Yeah. So the one that would make distinct one person from the other is the highest audience appeal. How do you measure yeah, that? How do you measure that? That's subjective. And that's something for but me. In your case, how how do you think that the audience appeal? How you were able to generate attention? Mm-hmm. We're able to generate talk. <coughs> Every endeavor, because it's, it, it has more to do with the personality and his activity than the song. Because that's why we have most popular song. When it comes to the artists of the it has to do more with the artistry. How are we able to generate conversation? How are we able to drive attention? So every in, today, in today's time, how would we measure that trend? No, no, Sadi, maybe by the time an will about land, about maybe, about no, let's allow him to land. The time is little, so let's allow him to land, then we can all make our input. I know, please go ahead. Yeah. And, George, you see, again, nobody is disputing the win. Exactly. But based on this, if you check, sometimes I wonder if the, the law that really happened from, because it was supposed to happen in May mm-hmm. or April, mm-hmm. it dragged out to August. Okay. If you go and check, the conversation that transpired on social media, especially on Twitter, in November 2019, December 2019, only one artist was being mentioned for Artist of the Year. Sadi, who was it? If you take your what? Last when you year. consider last year the conversation <coughs> on social media, yeah. the artist who was tipped yes, to win was, Artist was of the Year Sakode. was Sakode. Mm. Mm. Nobody came was close Sakode. to that conversation. Mm-hmm. If anybody doubts it, the person should just go mm-hmm. and check. Sakode. Because of the work that he put in that year yeah. and the level of audience appeal that he was able to garner. Ghana. So I'm not too sure whether probably because it dragged, mm-hmm. people easily forgot that forgotten. the gentleman actually worked more than any other. And don't forget he was in the States too during the, yes. the, the quite, pandemic. Quite, most clearly, most quite clearly, when you look at it from the half part of last year till the end of it, I it mean, was all on him. the basis of the work. I'm hearing what you're saying, mm-hmm. and I, I, I agree, but I'm also looking at the results that was released. So, I'm if not, all I'm not no, I'm coming. About the results. Uh, just a question, mm-hmm. so that you can, it, mm-hmm. it will help the but conversation. The, the general narrative is different from usually the results. Exactly. <laughs> you know, because um, when I saw the chat that was released, it meant that even if Kwame Eugen did not win, it it's like um, the it gospel at the Yes, it, wouldn't have, it would have gone to Diana Hamilton. Could it be, as someone opined, I think I heard it on another radio station, that for the first time in the history of SAC fans, they probably assumed that because Shatawale and Stoneboy are not there, it's cool talk for SAC, so they went to sleep. Is it's that possible? Like that. No, initially, I wanted to, first of all, I, I don't even think it has to be with the result. Okay. The fact is, we feel this person should have won. Mm. However, like I said, the academy members, the board members, and the and general the public, public thought, otherwise. thought otherwise. So that point is made. Initially, I wanted to tell you the same line, thinking that, oh, complacency. But then, if you look at the results, the yeah. these SAC natives or SAC nation or whatever they call themselves, why would they want to vote for Ophetion massively mm-hmm. and not vote for and the not vote for the ultimate, which mm-hmm. is very yeah, important to them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Because they can mm-hmm. skip every other category, right. Right. but the artist, artist of the of year, year. is integral. But, but George, if you look at the argument, the argument is their focus is not even heavily on the public or whether the SAC natives voted or not. It was on the basis of the fact that if that narrative, I mean, was a relevant narrative, I mean, relative to Sakwa the Winda to the year, it should have guided the board and academy enough for it to have been a unanimous one from the board and academy as well. To such an extent that if, 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 no if that notion were applicable, then it should have reflected in the way the board and academy were. Exactly. That, that was did. where they were coming from as no, well. Which, which still was no, which no, 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 a relevant no, argument. Mm-hmm. With this argument that you guys are raising, mm-hmm. The results that we have, mm-hmm. we do not even know how the board voted, how the right. academy voted, mm-hmm. how the general public voted. They will mm-hmm. do another one next year, so you could look forward. <laughs> no, 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 no. What year? What year? Cast them out in the now. No, but 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 I, I was telling somebody that offering these things, even when they put it out, it doesn't cure anything. Yes, I just I said it this afternoon. It looks like keep you keep digging. I, I I've seen it from experience that when you put out the results, thinking that you would you would cure. you would try to 
hear it and have a more subjective conversation, the more people keep digging mm. in different angles mm. without actually bringing so in that fiasco. substance. <laughs> that, ah, <laughs> now, now me, my issue with all this mm-hmm. is something that has come up this year, which okay. unfortunately for me, I did not really know existed in the previous year. Mm-hmm. And this is to do with the percentages in the yeah. voting yeah, structure mm-hmm. that the board and the academy yeah. have what? 60, 60% combined. Percent. Mm. combined or separate. Yeah, mm-hmm. combined. Mm-hmm. And the audience has 40. 40. So there's this narrative going around mm-hmm. that it means that the fans out there can never <laughs> win. Um, the no, it depends. No, it depends. Oh, Mm-hmm. Because if the no, uh, it's a very relevant yes, uh, I mean, I and 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 it got me thinking, and I'm saying, why should the academy and the board have majority of the uh, uh, voting okay, percentage? Here before this majority, uh, academy Sadiq, please use your microphone. Raise it, raise it up a bit. Yeah. Sadiq, mm. I think it's a very dicey thing mm. that needs to be looked at. Needs to be looked at. Because why? Look at the instrumentalist of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is Apparently, more that is only uh, the, board. Uh, uh, the, board. the board. The board. Yeah. But some ac- academy members voted. Yeah. Just I didn't reflect. Mm. Ah, and when you see the board yeah, voting a hundred percent for one person, it raises it questions. Like a, it raises a, 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 yeah. a, a it, questions how did they voting. come by that? And I was voting. told that the reason being that who the person who is instrumentalist of the year has to have featured on a lot of the a lot of the, 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 uh, the works so the work that have been yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I found that interesting too yeah. and but it makes sense mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. me yeah it, that actually does make yeah, a does. lot of yeah. sense yeah. Yes, to me mm-hmm. so it means that the person who they voted for actually featured on a lot of uh, works yeah that yeah. Uh, that were released in the year on the radio and that got nominated yeah, that, yeah. That, but when you come to the other African one, artist of the year, African, African artist of the year, the hundred percent, the hundred percent for Bernard Boy, uh, it got me scratching my head. Yeah. You think was there? I, was there no? You, like can you, you, you heard the narrative that came along with that decision. Yeah. What, what, what narrative was that? When this afternoon we spoke to Robert, and okay. then Francis came to okay. Patrice, what okay. he said. That there's actually a discussion. Robert is actually ah, here with us. I know. So if there's clarity, we would invite oh, him to come and clarify. After so they've yes. nominated yes. the artist, yes. so hold actually, on. they a go into a discussion. Yes. Wow. And reach a consensus regarding to who we should vote for. No, who I we think, think that's well. that's that's not for enta- all the awards. No, only for, for the for the African no. only yep. for the uh, but even even revelations of this is still instructive. Listen, the bit about African artists mm-hmm. over here, I am familiar with the process else from elsewhere, like mm-hmm. um, with a. Uh, um, Hip hop world I was from Nigeria, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. and it is true. The reason is uh, most often than not, you'd want to even invite or use the award as bait to um, lure the get the artist to come and perform. Even, you okay. understand? Yes. Now, mm-hmm. and it happened in our case when Tiny was um, awarded the African Artist of the Year somewhere back in the post independence era. Post so, um, <laughs> post independence. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Yeah, so they called us way in advance, just so to make travel arrangements and yeah. all those kind of um, protocols, mm. and then yeah, so we had to connect to Abuja. So mm. I, I am from if you are saying that. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. but no, to I, me, I, I, my so I mean, maybe to be fair to me. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. One question. I want to ask a question. Mm. Um, I want to understand the problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, was the choice or the winner mm-hmm. wrong? No, which considering the, the year and the review. Which category are you talking about? Uh, it's the African, African Artist of the Year. The African, the African, the African the year. Artist yes. of the Year. Yes. yes. I, I think this if you have to nominate mm-hmm. and then discuss, and I think I it's wrong. It is wrong. It uh, is totally wrong. You don't have to discuss. Just vote. Um, okay, so it's uh, the process that you have yes, a question. Rasa, hold on. Hold on. Now, why don't you just name? I have a question. I have a question. Sadiq, the Three Music Awards, you have a board. No, throw the question to me. No, no, no. He is the organizer of Three Music Awards. Your board, what do they do? No, in terms of that, let's just have a question. Oh, I asked the man a question. I want to help. Let, no, yeah, wait, the man can speak for himself. No, but I want to speak go and discuss yeah, so in, this, in this case, we don't do that. No, 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 no. I, said your, I haven't asked in relation mm. to this. Yes. Your board, what do they do as a board? What do they do? They vote. 
That's all. Yeah, no, that's that's the only problem. thing they do. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's the only thing you're bored no, 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 no. Conversations. Are, uh, we we don't reach a consensus. Oh, definitely. Listen, listen. Let me just say this. Definitely, you would have. I mean, when you have all the argument and discussions and everything, it's conversations. But we've never at any point had to have a reach a consensus, a consensus on who to the say, should go to. Okay, exactly. this should go to yes. ABC. We you know? never had to. No. Okay. No, 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 George. Is that the, the process? The acrimonious, yeah. no, no, no. I mean, nature of even arriving at uh, uh, even uh, uh, what's it called nomination. Nomination. Tell you, say, yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. And that you couldn't have that. Yeah. That, that process, process about. Rasta, okay. That process is utterly wrong mm-hmm. because the mandate of the board and i argued about it this afternoon is simple categorize nominate shortlist mm-hmm. so the conversation and the vote. deliberation and uh, no and vote but the voting must be done secretly by individual board right. members i like where you've gotten there to. must be robert, no we, consensus we, we built we in what we brought robert in, in. I need Robert. Hold on, Arnold, Arnold, vote. Arnold, Arnold, don't worry. You vote for. Arnold, you've made the point. Can we get Robert to clarify that exactly <laughs> what he said regarding that? You said no, the board said it, reaches. A, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. The man is here. Let yeah, him speak Robert. for himself. <laughs> you know, Robert. Uh, according to them, you said no. the board actually discusses and reaches a consensus as to who to vote for. No, I said the board holds deliberations mm-hmm. to inform them. Mm-hmm. And then in terms, you see, so you you hold the relations and it forms you. Yeah. But of course, you have your paper before you, so you do your own voting. It's wrong. So mm. nobody is saying that yeah. nobody is saying that um, they deliberate to vote. So the deliberations they, they, are not part of the process. No, the deliberations are deliberations because you see, it's a conversation that goes on, mm. and then you just try to understand. Is it supposed to thing. inform the voting That's process? What he just said. No, it mm. really helps you to understand mm-hmm. board everybody's like weight. an orientation. No, or like why they understand there. everybody's weight because uh, Rasta, hold on, let him, let him, let him respond. Sometimes the research people even bring information, and then they share it. You, you understand? So it's information that is also shared. So it's just information that you gather you know, from all of this that helps you in making informed decisions. It doesn't mean that somebody is there and we are saying, hey, by force, vote for this person or that kind But of when stuff. you are nominating, don't, yeah. you, don't you then use that well, period? You no, nom, nomi- yeah. Why don't you use that period to give the information? Yeah, you, and then you, you, after you, nominating, you leave everything to the vote. Y- y- yes, but there's nothing wrong with having extra information. No. Everything is wrong. Everything is man. wrong. <laughs> okay, so are, are you saying that the board does not have the right to have deliberations? Not in relation to voting. Not in relation yeah, to the voting. No, how do I know? It's, it's it's not with the out. nominations, you could. <laughs> have come out. Hold on. Uh, um, it, it raises a lot ho- ho- of ho- ho- With ho- the ho- nominations, yeah. you could. Okay, yeah. gentlemen, one, one, one voice, one voice. Uncle Ken, hold on. Your, Uncle Ken, your mic is down. Uh, your microphones are off. Hold on. Your microphones are off. Your microphones are off. Uncle Ken, the microphone is, Uncle Ken, the microphone is off. Hold on. We need to have one voice, okay? Nobody is hearing us because everybody is talking at the same time. (laughs) Okay, so I think, I don't know whether to call it miscommunication or misinformation. That's what what you're also thinking about, eh? I mean, because maybe maybe Robert. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gentlemen, one voice, one voice, one voice. Oh, Uncle Ken, one voice. Okay, Robert has explained it, but okay, can can I speak as a board member? But we put the fear of the boss on you, so you what you go talk, and you not be paid for this. No, you see, I think what Robert, (laughs) what Robert said, and what you are saying might be right, but it's a discussion of time, and Arnold may be right that okay we've all gathered here mm-hmm. and then we say okay charlie for producer of the year should we give it to anita or mirabel or philip then we all say no let's give it to philip mm-hmm. unanimously mm-hmm. in some right? hold on it depends on what you intend to achieve if your decision reflects the larger picture or whatever it is it could be argued however when he said deliberation is that deliberation because i have also been a part of those deliberations where people have gotten so angry they've walked out of the room hold on angry oh no there should be no deliberation consensus exactly how can you say there's how can you say there's a board that we know exactly the board's job is not to build one one voice one voice one voice one voice we have a mission, we have a plan. It's showbiz A to Z. Making you move to a All right, 
right, gentlemen. Gentlemen, Arnold. Arnold, come down. Come down. Give Arnold water. Arnold, come down. Give Arnold water. Okay, I think we should all be in a position where we'll tolerate each other's opinion. Arnold has a strong opinion. In his opinion, so do there I. should be no deliberation. I know there's that yes, on the voting day. That's election election with the election voting day. Exactly. Yes. You made no your point. Yes. Yes. That's your point. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree with him. I, yeah, you agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, that's, you that's also agree. That's, that's uh, Rasta, uh-huh. uh, what is your opinion too? So that we can move forward. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm just... Ah, you what know what? Yes. I agree that there shouldn't be any deliberations. Because I'm trying to juxtapose that with um, even the major electoral processes. Mm-hmm. Even on election days, mm-hmm. you are not supposed to be campaigning. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. You understand? So, exactly. Um, it's just casting it's your sort of, Cast your you know, yeah. because you are in that position as a board member because you are well informed. Yes. You, and you have you a question. Are question of that of you. Yes. yes. So, you have I, I have a question. I have a question. Yes, Robert. please go ahead. So, because um, uh, I'm hearing that the voting processes have changed. Previously, the board will meet on a particular day and cast their vote. The academy will meet on a particular day and cast their vote. I'm hearing that that has changed to a more online one where you share the links as Google Forms and everybody casts their vote. So at what point, if there is deliberations and consensus, does this happen? Like Zoom or something. Okay, so the, the online voting was, was mainly for the academy. For the academy. Yes. But the board still met on the a particular board, day board, to vote. The board met. On a particular day to vote, and that's where the deliberation happened mm-hmm. to say, okay, and probably mm-hmm. even reaching mm-hmm. a consensus, okay, for this particular category, mm-hmm. all of us, let's say for this one, is that it? Because I, I it's difficult for me to, t- I think it's a miscommunication. I, 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 no, it is the thing, wrong thing being done. This is what means communication. No, the guy is. Why do you keep on saying? Oh, Arnold, take explain. your time. You have your Let, opinion. Arnold, Arnold. Why do you keep on saying? Oh, Arnold, take your time. <laughs> take your time. Arnold, Arnold, take your time. He's take your time. Explain. We keep Robert, interrupting. Robert, explain. Explain. Robert, go ahead and talk. Yeah. People need information to work, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, the information is 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 projected to them. Mm-hmm. You ask questions back and forth and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It happens. After which. You know, people are informed. You know, because sometimes you freshen up your mind. How really? long has but this happens. <laughs> this happens usually during the nomination. One voice. Nomination so the voting. That is my yes, point. They need to yeah. vote in. No, it happens for the nomination process, not the so voting. No matter. Not the, not the day of the voting. Not the day of voting. The day of the what? voting. Uh, okay. I will never agree. Would you want to remove your mask because maybe <laughs> you want to? <laughs> no, 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 like maybe you know. Easy, easy, easy. 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 No, if, 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 Robert, Robert, is this the same <laughs> procedure with? All the votes that the academy and the board no. are entitled to. Uh, do you work with them? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Is this procedure the same when you are voting for all the other categories? Yes. The same are you in the board room? All, all the other categories. <laughs> By um, the board, yes, or by, by the, the board and the academy. Do they go through the same uh, discussions or, or deliberations? Okay, I, I have a question. Uh, before before oh, you answer that, man, answer me the answer. Yeah, 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 oh, see, you guys are confusing. No, exactly. exactly. And, and this is where this is oh. where the miscommunication happens. When you throw too much too much information, information you confuse the man. Okay, yes. Yeah, so let him allow. He can go to his house. Oh, Rasta, allow Robert. Robert, no more interruption. No interruption. Yes, we are also trying to raise Francis Duco on the line. Who also speaks for the board. So Robert, let's allow Robert to speak so that we can get on. We Robert, don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Does it go through the same procedure? Okay. So all the other categories. Okay. I'm not talking about instrumentalists and uh, uh, African okay. artists all the, other of the all the other public ones that day. Uncle Ken. Board yes, and yes, Academy yes, have sixty yes. percent yes. of the vote. Uncle Ken, Robert, Robert, hold that thought. We've been able to raise Francis Duku as well. He also speaks for the board. Oh, Since this Robert. particular issue concerns the board, I think it would be fair we give him an opportunity to respond to it. Since he speaks for the board. Hello, Mr. Duku. Hello, Mr. Quick. Good afternoon. How are you? Do- Sorry. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Too. So we're having a discussion right here on Showbiz A to Z, and um, there is um, an assertion that um, you did mention on another radio station earlier today that um, the board deliberates on how to vote. Uh, could you shed some light on this? Uh, exactly what you mean by the board deliberates on how to vote just before voting is done? I don't think uh, I don't think uh, deliberate is the word. I don't know, but I I, I think I said that as a board we we need vote. The board needs physically to be in the same room with the uh, CPMG around to provide the voting. And of course, the instructions will be given by KPMG on how to vote and all that. And each category will be picked, and then voting will be done accordingly. So um, I don't know what the means, but 
so <laughs> when you when when the board picks each category, is there a discussion as to how to? Okay, mm-hmm. should we say we have picked a male vocalist of the year? Let us all vote for Joe Metal. Mm-hmm. Do you have that kind of discussion, or do you have an, a kind of debate as to how the vote should go, or do you do anything that influences how every single board member should vote? Well, let me put it in perspective. I mean, I think everybody knows that PTMA is a three-level vote for some categories. Okay, so there are some categories that the board is the academy and then the public. There are other categories that is the board and the academy. And then there are full of categories that is the board. So for each of them, it comes up and then it's okay, this is maybe at least of the year. How do you want to vote? I mean, your friends are so really voting in all that. So it's a question. It is not to say that, okay, so everybody will say, let's just vote for this or let's vote for that. Or that. But it's a discussion. And then I do you choose who you want to vote for. George will say, okay, I want to vote for this. Francis is maybe a, a, a Mark will vote for this you know, and all that. So it is a matter of you know, everybody voting for what they want. But it will be mentioned before having to be carried. But, but uh, Mr. Doku, if at the end of the day, everybody is going to vote for who they want, then what's the essence of that discussion? What is it for? But this is, this is a meeting that is not physical. If I am sitting in my house, you are in your house, you know, and we are voting, everybody is voting on them. But we mean, I mean, the essence of voting together at the board is a meeting that we meet. And so when we, you know, those those is, is, is put. So each of the individual nominations is put, and then the board, you know, goes on to vote for who they want. Of course, they'll be passionate about every, a lot of things, and then everybody votes for who they want. There are times when, of course, during the voting, almost all the board people will vote for a particular um, category that will be known by by um, But there are other times also that others will individually vote for whoever they want, and that's also known as the PMG. So I know it's just a matter of a board meeting, and then it's like, okay, so any board, I mean, the board of the uh, multimedia meets, and there's an issue, there's a point of the discussion before it will be put to vote, and everybody will vote on which one they want, and then there's a decision that is made. That is how all board functions. I don't know how this board will function otherwise. So it's not like the board needs to say that, okay, we're all voting for this one to be a piece of the year or this one to be this and all that. But each category is picked and then the discussion is done. Then everybody votes how they vote. So I don't know. Uh, don't, uh, Mr. Doku, what, what you say to those who assert strongly that that exercise, that little interaction or deliberation before voting is done has the potential of influencing how the board should vote? Well, I mean, I don't know how that will influence it, but the fact has to be that assuming, and that's not what we're that even if the board was to vote on mass for one, that's just 30% of 100%, but that's still 70%. For the academy and, uh, and and the public for for most of those categories, the board, the category that is just hundred percent the board, I don't think we can have an argument about that. It will be the board to vote and one will be chosen. But where, for instance, it is uh, most popular some of the year or assets of the or any of those popular categories, should the board even let's admit for argument vote together? It's still thirty percent. There's still seventy percent to be shared among other people. You know, so. I don't think how that would influence the vote. If there's seventy percent and you can push very hard to get even forty out of that, you can annul everything that the board would have done here. You know. So the point is that the board has been the first the board doesn't need to decide that all of us should vote for this one person or this one category. That's not it. Secondly, if you think that way to be there's still room for you to Rally your people to be able to vote for you in a public category. And if you are able to get also the, the, the other one, the academy one, you could win an award. So I think we are just over over relying on something that is what is done. Everybody needs brings up an issue and then it's put to a vote. Some would agree, some would disagree. Certain times it will be everybody agrees to work. But it is not to say that this is what a board does all the time. Decide who wins and who doesn't win. I think it is only fair that. Uh, that is given to the board. Right. That we may be, maybe because of uh, the current situation, we may be able to sit in our various homes or various offices and vote. Okay. But how it has been done from when it back to now is that the board meet together, discuss this category, and then people would have it into that. But that's what is done. Mr. Doku, thank you very much.
Uh, yeah. would raise you again if we need any further sure. clarity. All right. So um, I think um, Francis has made it clear. Um, can we move forward? Oh well, you do have a point. It, it, it well, it, George. Yes. Even without. I mean, oh, hold on. Let Rasta is on the floor quickly. If preventive measures were yeah. employed to yeah. um, foster any future occurrence, yeah. for instance, it, it's not like we are oblivious of the fact that they could form um, a WhatsApp group and have deliberations there. Mm-hmm. We are saying that yes we don't trust them anybody in that board position the public because their f- um favorites will not win it's not worthy of their trust you, you, you understand there's that natural mistrust mm-hmm. but moving forward by the letter of their terms of reference or whatever it is um guides them in their work they should desist from having those conversations discussions deliberations whatever the adjective is mm-hmm. that practice is not healthy in reposing trust or whatever it is in them. We are, let's wrap up. And our final thought, we'll have to do part two of VGM next week. And um, I'll seek special permit so that we can continue uh, part two of the VGM. Yeah. Uncle Ken. Oh, you want yeah. to do a part two? Yes, we have because to. Because there are a lot of issues that we haven't gone exactly. into. A lot. And, and, we a lot. Even and next week, we have to dedicate the time properly yes. to VGM. I'm glad yes. you are. I don't know, you might have to seek permit from the other okay. side to leave them next no, week we and join us from 3 p.m. Yeah, so he can join us from 3 p.m. There's one other yeah. issue yeah. I wanted to yeah. talk about, uh, about production. Yeah. Now, this has to do with awardees mm-hmm. and uh, those ones who are in the auditorium, auditorium. but might be backstage mm-hmm. preparing for a performance. Now, when their names are mentioned, they don't come for the awards. Mm-hmm. And they make other people come for yeah. the awards because for them. Sorry. And I think that it's a shame that happens. Because a lot of the people who vote for their artists to win want to see those artists pick up their awards. And if they are in the auditorium or be backstage, I think uh, they, they still need to come and pick up their awards just so that their fans <laughs> are happy to see them and might want to do so a lot more. Because don't forget that the fans don't know why they didn't come to pick yeah. their awards. So it's true. I think that it, it behoves production to fix this. It's been correct, rearing its um, ugly head yes. over the years. And I've been involved with certain situations where when my artist is um, supposed to pick an award, mm-hmm. you are prompted in advance. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the running order is such that mm-hmm. uh, either it, it overlaps. Yes. So at that time, if the artist is backstage mm-hmm. changing wardrobe, mm-hmm. if you are care is not taken and you want to do that, Chore, perform mm-hmm. that chore. It sort of distracts I you, you. Mm-hmm. and yes. mm-hmm. d- derails you with mm-hmm. the performance, which mm-hmm. is what matters to the mm-hmm. artist. Because at That's the end right. of the day, mm-hmm. the award is home and dry. <laughs> you know, so mm-hmm. sometimes these things, um, it's funny. It's you don't know yeah, really how to. Yeah, but I get mm-hmm. it that the viewers and um, fans would want to see their yeah, exactly. idols pick it mm-hmm. up for themselves. Yeah. They don't so want to see somebody um, who don't even know. I know. I know. You say we will continue yeah. next week. Well, yes, we have to. I think um, we have with to. With regard to Francis' explanation, it still doesn't sit well at all. And you see, I'm even surprised he, he compared a VGMA board to a Gapoha board. <laughs> and oh, he did. Yes, today. Mm-hmm. Yes, this mm-hmm. year. Yes, yeah, this year. Yeah. Uh, but Rasa, why, were you outside? <laughs> were you outside? <laughs> and you see, he also, and again, my biggest surprise is he downplaying the thirty percent voting given to the board. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, he did. Yeah, he that's that's he did. did. That is a shocker. Oh, in all fairness, I don't think that was what he did. Oh, oh, he 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 yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. I think no, I think we are we are making it look like that's what he did. The point he made was that regardless of that 30%, mm. there is a massive 70%. Which is Isn't there 70%? Mr. Kaplan, 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 Mr. And but the, the, the academy is not the board. Yeah, yeah, but the academy is the board. They, they yeah, are, the are, the if you say that you are, they are relatives. That influence of that thirty no. percent. Because the academy and the board are there where the public power will not vote. I know. Oh, boss. They are not the same. One question. We are wrapping up. There's a narrative that I think we need to be able to cure. Yes. I've seen it a number of times. Yeah. 
it's important that you drive it home that the academy and the board regardless of how you want to see it as industry they are, are not the not same, the same. Yeah. they are not the same yes yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they must call their relative, but <laughs> and then why would you even want to hold discussions for the board yes. let, one and let, one let one let one for let one let one in general public that, that, that i agree with i know it doesn't have been any way in any but but that there are two different teams one is a more limited number and then the academy is a more expansive so you see why i'm going to they are relatives you know, but but it's been said again and again, and you need to drive home. Yeah, drive that home. Yeah. Gentlemen, <laughs> we'll wrap it up right here. Mr. Kla, um <laughs> next week we'd have to continue this conversation. We run out of time there totally. So yes, there are a lot of issues that we'd love to go into. We'd like to take each category, each category, you know, category by category, and go into it to determine the various elements because um, some have also opined strongly that it's about time some of the categories were reviewed. Or Arnold, hasn't that argument also come hey, out that some of the categories be reviewed? A total overhaul of the VGMA thing. Uh, the ca- <laughs> <laughs> I see a good reaction before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, VGMA, <laughs> yes, um, Robert Clark, thank you very much. Uncle Kanadi, thank you very much. Uh, Rasta, thank you very much. Uh, Sadiq Abdullah, Abu, thank you so very much. And of course, um, we also had that beautiful interview with the Aquabua's senior engineer. Um, then we also discussed the, the fake doctor. Congratulations to all the winners out there. Please make sure you drink from your feeding bottles and your, your charges. You can take them to the next event you are invited to. Save yourself or something like that. And then, um, Nathaniel Lato, we have to go and ride the horse somewhere, Charlie. Here go be. Um, show was produced by the man Philip Nye. Special thanks to Anita for production support. DJ Obeto was the man on the ones and twos. And of course, we are saw when on social media. My name is George Quay. God willing, Monday evening, we're going to be here for the Late Night Express. Showbiz A to Z is probably brought to you by MTN. Choose your own bundle, your own way with MTN Flex Bundle. Just dial star 138 hash and enjoy bundles that do not expire.